fugitive with nowhere to run. How come you've got a gun? You a bad guy? A family with everything to lose. I'm not gonna give up my home. And no one to turn to. Sam! Move on. Who are you? You're not from around here, are you? When the enemy can destroy a town. They want your land. Why? We're gonna need her parcel. It's right in the middle of the whole development. And the law is on their side. Stop right there. The only hope for justice. For everybody's sake, just get out of here! Is an outlaw. When push comes to shove, you're gonna be dealing with me. I look forward to it. It's our duty to inform the authorities of Mr. Gillum's whereabouts. Sam, Sam, something's wrong. If I see me, her, or the children, I'll kill you. Jean-Claude Van Damme, as you've never seen him before. Nowhere to run. Whoa. Lots of vendetta. Man, this was, bro, this was damn near right after Double Impact. And this movie believes, hey, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm watching Cinemax. Huh, no uh, one uh, No, 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 no. See, no, D, I'm stopping you right there. This wasn't a Cinemax movie. This was the movie channel movie. Third tier under the like, under the hotbed of, of uh, premium movie channels. No, if we bring it to modern day, this is you flipping through channels and you, you flip it over to the Ion channel. It's like, huh, nowhere to run. Did I ever see this movie? Now <laughs> on Ion, nowhere to run. Jean-Claude Van Damme, Rosanna Arquette. Jean-Claude, you know, he was actually coming up on, coming towards that kind of peaking in his career. I'll probably say like 96 was when he kind of peaked in his career. Um, right before Street Fighter, I think right before Street no, Fighter. No, this is after Street Fighter because you know he has yeah, this was this after Street Fighter. Sudden, yeah, because okay. sudden, yeah, yeah, yeah. sudden death and the Quest and Maximum Risk was like the last three movies that were like his like popular movies that made money. Because after that, that's when Double Team tanked, Legionnaire tanked, Universal yeah, Double Team tanked. No, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Double Team knock off yeah, knock Legionnaire. Off. Yeah, and Universal Soldier to return. So that's four movies that tanked, and then he got relegated straight to video. But that's besides the point. I personally blame Universal Soldier for that. Yeah, 
Um, in WCW a little bit. WCW had to do with it, uh, man. WCW promoted the fuck out of Universal Soldier Return because Goldberg. It did, yep, all because of Goldberg. Oh, yeah, Goldberg was a part of it. And Megadeth with that stupid ass song. Yes, it was a stupid ass song. Crush him. Yeah, that, uh, that was Goldberg's theme music, and I never forgave WCW for doing that bullshit. Yeah, three picture deal with Columbia Pictures for $3.5 million, which 93, yeah, that's a lot of money for somebody to get. For having a three no, picture deal, that, I, I'm trying to think. Wasn't that his going rate for like? Wasn't that like three and a half million like per movie? Yeah, something like that. That was his fee, and Columbia Pictures was like, "All right, cool, we'll hit you with that fee and stuff." And I think he got like a back end on the two if the movies did well as did well and stuff. Um, Nowhere to Run didn't do so hot. It it broke even after the weekend. It broke like it sort of broke even because yeah. because the budget for this movie was like fifteen million. This movie altogether made fifty two million dollars. Yeah, so it so it it did business. It did some business and stuff. I, it know, made I, like the, you got you got to remember, dude was popular as hell overseas. Yeah, that's true. So it did it did pop big time overseas. But the thing it is, he had this picture deal for this, and this was the first movie out of it. Because I think it was this. I want to say it was Hard Target <coughs> part of the deal. You said it wrong. It's Hard Target. Remember, yeah, he was from right. Bayou. Yeah, yeah. Hard Target. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, other... and no, it wasn't. It wasn't that one because that was that was Universal. Uh, okay, so what was the other other three other two movies that was under under them that he basically did? I'm For trying to remember. Because it was it was it was nowhere to run. Was Time Cop part of it? Time Cop was Universal also. Damn. So which one was Columbia Pictures? Columbia, and and that was also Universal. Jesus. Wait a minute. Man. So when Universal, wait a minute, Universal Soldier, wasn't that part of Columbia? No. Nah. Damn. <laughs> Universal Soldier. Universal Soldier. That was TriStar. Yeah. Like that's weird. It was like it was literally. It was. I'm trying. Ah, oh, what the fuck? And that was '92. So. Yeah. Huh. Hold up. With last, hold on. He did make an appearance in Last Action. Ah, yeah. Okay. If you want to count three picture deal with Columbia, then yeah, his uh, his little five second guest appearance in Last Action Hero would technically count. Wow, huh? Because that came because that was right before Nowhere to Run. Okay, okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I you know, but yeah, no. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I found it now. So it was Nowhere to Run, uh, Maximum Risk. Maximum Risk? Okay. Yeah, Maximum Risk. That was Columbia. That was Columbia Pictures. And Double Team. So those are the three movies. <laughs> That's funny. He It started out back in 93. Maximum Risk. In 96. They didn't, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and they didn't pick back up on it until 96 and 97. Yeah, so it's like, huh. That That's was... some... That is pure '90s contract negotiation, right there, bro. Because <laughs> it's like, yo, yo, how do you do nowhere to run, and then all of a sudden, a hey, uh, Universal got me for four movies. I'll be back to do some more movies. All right, all right, cool, all right. cool. Let's I mean, go. back. I mean, bro, back to back movies. I mean, good God, this man was so, everywhere. So like, I think they still do it to an extent when you have contracts with like different um different studios, man. They, he ain't the first one to do that, man, but. That just seems like it's just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but so Nowhere to Run is weird to me because the director, I actually like the movie he did with Rucker Howard, The Hitcher. Mm-hmm. I love that movie. But then he did stuff like uh, with, with Tom Selleck called Stone Cold. And I'm like, so what happened? And then he did Gotti, which I'm like, yay. So I'm sorry, who did Stone Cold? Uh, Robert Harmon. Robert Harmon. Yeah, that's the director of uh, Nowhere to Run. Yeah. This movie. Uh, uh, you do realize that we're going to see Robert later on, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Later on, uh, yeah, I think we, um, in June, yes, we do plan that far out, people. In June, we're going to be doing that movie. Oof. Actually, oh, yes. No, actually, no, it's the wrong Stone Cold. This is Tom Selleck Stone Cold, not, not the Bob ah, Bosman. Boom, boom, boom. Keep and keep in mind, and all, and also keep in mind, after Stone Cold, he pretty much did a whole bunch of uh, Jesse Stone movies. Cause he loves Tom Selleck. That's his boy. Oh, real talk. Hey, dude, dude, real talk. You said uh, all, all those Jesse Stone movies. Real talk. Do you know how many wives in the Midwest love each Bruh, and every one of these, man? I swear to you, I ah, went down. Lord, 
I, let me tell you, you something, think, folks. And you, and you would think that Tom Selleck wouldn't cake it up off those things. Yo, all those Jesse Stone movies, man. Hey, son. hey, 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 hey. Guess, uh, guess what famous actress was in all those movies? Actress. An actress, right? Uh-huh. Black actress. How how Black actress. Don't tell me Diane Carroll was in each oh, one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I know. Believe it. I know. Don't say it. Don't say it, Sue. I want D to guess oh, okay. this one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How how high profile are we talking about, and how old? Pretty pretty high profile. She ran my mom, our our mother's age, so I'll say about forties, fifties. Our mom's age? Yeah, about fifties. Wow, fifties. Wow. So that see, I can't say Angela. She wasn't in that one. I know she wasn't in that one. Definitely wasn't her. Um, hmm. it's gonna blow your mind too. You're gonna laugh too. Ooh, it's gonna blow my mind. Um. Fuck it. Get, tell me, who was it? Who was Viola it? Viola Davis. It, I was, ladies and gentlemen, D. Shaw is about to get off this cast. It's been real. Three Black Geese, y'all. And Joy, DJ, Sue, and Chris talking about Viola Davis. What in the world? Viola Davis. She was in all the Jesse Stone movies. I'm like, yo. Every last one. <laughs> it's like, yo. <laughs> oh, my God, man. I was like, no. Look, look, see, here's the thing. Bro, bro, here's the thing. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But at the same time, what? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's like, yo, like she was a, G- I mean, yeah, I get it. You got to start somewhere. I'm not even knocking it. But it's like, yo, like, wow. Like, this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, Jesse Stone, man, he's like the fucking uh, uh, Scorsese to his De Niro with him, man. That, like, he's literally been doing everything. Like, he's, he's literally doing that Blue Blood show, which is actually not bad. Um, so I don't know if you guys watch that show or not. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Cause <clears throat> our boy, our boy Diggle is in that show was, was in that show before he got on Arrow too. So, you know, Nowhere to Run comes in and I, I do remember this movie when we first picked this movie, I was like, Nowhere to Run, Nowhere to Run. And then I yeah, saw this the was lineup the and I was like, oh shit, I remember this cause of one Kieran Culkin. Yep, Karen Culkin and one. I was the one that actually brought up this film. So it was DJ Sue to say, hey, um, D, when are we going to do Van Damage again? I don't know, Eris. When are we going to do Van Damage again? Yo, Sue, I don't know. We're going to do Van Damage again, D. All right, you know what? We got to do it this year. But what movie have we not done? So I I picked out four of the movies. Chris, I'm not Chris. Eris just straight up said, no, D, we're not doing that. You got to have to pick the ones that people know before we get to the DVD stuff. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. And the only one that came up was Nowhere to Run. <laughs> I dro- like, bro, I dropped that shit down like a stack of phone books on like on D. I was like, bro, Nowhere to Run. It's like that like person, big, it's like that person in the movie blocked. that's like when they're doing research and they drop a stack of fucking papers like, all right, we're going to do this shit. <laughs> You heard a plot. Need- Nowhere to like, run. We need to do this movie because, the, you know, you know when you watch Nowhere to Run, yes, you know it's Van Damme, and yes, this was definitely the the early nineties, and you like you watch it, and you just say to yourself, huh? You know, I know that this is supposed to be an action film, but. Slow down on the word action. I'm using that term very loosely with this. Side note, um, R.I.P. Uh, Jean-Claude show on Amazon, which was actually pretty funny and good. Jean-Claude Van Johnson. I'm mad that it got uh, canceled. Um, Wait a minute. So they canceled it? Man. Yeah, that was actually a good show. I, I love Ooh. that show. <laughs> Dude, that show was actually pr- that show was really good, man. I it was really good. And I, you know, in it too. I was like, "Oh shit, she's in it." All right. You know what it was? You know what it was? They killed Felicia Rashad. It was like, "Yeah, look here, John. You can't have another season." But, but why not? Why not? I did this list and everything. What did I do wrong? <laughs> you killed a black wrong? woman, all right? <laughs> you killed a black woman. That's why we can't have look, that, John. Look, hey, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Y'all killed. Look, look, you killed a black woman. They didn't even kill her on Empire, but you did it here. Beloved black actress, too. Hey, you can't do that. You killed a beloved black actress. You look, we told you you can kill. We told you you can kill Wendy Raquel Roach as many times as you want. No, I don't need Felicia Rashad. I never see Felicia Rashad. That's what you kept saying. And we gave it to her. And we said, John, don't kill her. What did you do? You're saying I can't have the second season. This doesn't make sense. They, they, everybody be on uh, what did you call it? The, uh, the the cliffhanger. They be on that. Why 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 can't we go on? That doesn't make any sense. This show doesn't make any sense. 
Well, you're right about that. Not supposed to make sense. See? Ha ha ha. Hey, but you know, laughing, no, look, no, laughing look, in Belgium. Oh. I'm laughing in Bel- No, laughing in Brussels. Thank you, laughing in <laughs> laughing in muscles in Brussels. <laughs> nah, I got one now, better. Laughs and splits. Laughs. Thank you, laughs and splits. Is this, now, you, <laughs> like you do now, you do understand that the the lack of a second season makes my makes my nutsack very unhappy, quite disappointed, very much tingling. You know what? Does it, it doesn't do, you know, this doesn't feel right. Not at all. Now I have to go on and make straight to DVD movies. And, and I got to be honest with you. It's either that or fight Jason David Frank. And I got to be honest with you. He doesn't want this fade. <laughs> he doesn't want this fade. Hey, first off. Uh, first me off, and, first me off. and Chris talked about that. Man. Oh, my God. I should. <laughs> this is an opportune time for a bigger audience to hear us talk about how Jean-Claude really was about to get rolled up on from Jason. Jason. I think Jason would lose the fight, but real talk. Not that day. JDF uh, was first, first off, my Power Ranger fandom will not abide by you saying that JV, JCVD would have lost in any sort of capacity because fucking Jean-Claude would have got washed. That's what I'm, No, 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 no. I think he would have lost. No, he ain't going to get washed. No, he's not. Nah, he ain't going to get washed, nah. man. Come on. But, 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 but no. Br- but. Bruh. This is this JCVD. He kicked a barrel. Jason David Frank kicked a CGI dinosaur in the face. Okay, that's CGI, nigga. This was a fucking full barrel, all right. That was hey, tossed. Talk, at, that only... was tossed at him by Bolo. Hey, Chris, real talk. You can't talk, man. You know why? Because the only super good thing that he did was throw all of the Power Rangers out of the Megazord. You don't really have a lot <laughs> exactly. to say. Hold up, hold up, stop. No, 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 no. D, I'm taking that away because that wasn't even him. <laughs> the First off, sir. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. That day, though, JCVD, he had to put some respect on uh, Tommy's name. So, you know, just saying. You're right. Put some, I'll put it to you this way, Chris. How is it possible that uh, JD, uh, JCVD is losing his hairline? But yet, if you would actually split their hair, there's probably less hair on JDF's head. <laughs> Who's going to be bold enough between the two to realize they need to go bald? Because I feel there's a chicken match going on between the two. Like, I ain't cutting my hair. I ain't cutting my hair. Oh, yeah, there's a chicken match. There's a chicken match going on between them two. But here's the sad part. I mean, on with that fight, I think that John Claw would beat him. But on that day, <laughs> no. Jason was like, flex, nigga. I'm ready. Let's <laughs> go. One on one. For- one bet. <laughs> he was ready. Jason, yo. And I lie to you not. When Chris put up the thing, he said, why am I not surprised this happened in the least? I sat down. And Angie can tell you. I sat down for nearly 30 minutes laughing nonstop because I couldn't believe it actually happened. After all the talk from both of these babas, John, all four, all five foot five, started talking ish, didn't know that Jason was dead. Jason was like, nah, homie, not today. I was waiting on you. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, you yo, are about was, to catch like you are about to catch this full fade. Yo, he's like, look, he's like, yeah, I'm but you about to get hit with his right. I call Dragon Zord. You about to get hit with his left. It's called. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wait a minute, what was the? Uh, what, hold on, what was the? What was the? Uh, what was the Zord he had when he was the White Ranger? Tiger Zord. Oh, oh yeah, the tiger. Yeah, look, the tiger. The White Tiger like the, Zord. The, the left is Tiger Zord. The right is the Dragon Zord. You can get both of them. <laughs> <laughs> you see what happened. This fade is for you, son. Run it. Run this fade, my nigga. <laughs> so <laughs> that was about to happen. <laughs> so get back to go get back to nowhere to run though, right? So the whole John thing- like nowhere to run that day. No, <laughs> 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 no, no, no. And I'm sorry to get back going because John Claude was really John Claude went all the way French on that. We was like, no, I, I, I do not no 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 no. I just want to keep on going. No, no. <laughs> It's like yo, John, for real. I'm like, yeah, John, now, for real. Now, now here's Hold my him, man. Now, here's, the, here's the kicker. Here's gonna be the kicker, right? We end up finding out it was all a fucking shoot, and all of a sudden, JCVD and John Claude Van Damme are in the fucking movie together and shit. Like, what Dude, fuck? Hollywood does not surprise. Me. Hollywood does not surprise me. I was talking to Prob about this. Prob was like, "Dude, I want to see the fight just so Jason could shut up." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, like, I'm so ready for Jason to lose a match. Dude, <laughs> just look, shut up. Hey, you know what, D, hey, hold on, D, real quick before we get back to the movie. And yes, you're right. 
it would have been great for him to fight him just so he could shut up because hey, somebody would actually have fought uh, JDF, you know, not being uh, what's his name, fucking CM Punk. Yeah, son, you you know what, you know what. It's like, so let me get this straight. So you mean to tell me Don the Dragon Wilson has been wanting to fight Jason John Claude Van Damme for years, never could, and we had CM Punk and JDF want to fight each other for years and they never could, and yet we get the match that no one asks for between Jason David Frank and John Claude Van Damme. Like, meanwhile, I want meanwhile, also <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, also Saint John is just sitting back like, man, I wish me and JDF actually fought. It's some bullshit, but hey, at least we made oh, it Oh, no. <laughs> Look, and I'm putting money on that. Real talk. And I know the only reason why is because he's DMV. Austin would have tore his ass up. I'm saying. And then sprinkle, <laughs> and then sprinkle some mumble sauce on JDF after he knocks his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> mumble sauce, my nigga. Yo. All right, Chris. Chris, Chris, all right. The trophy I present to you is the Chuck is the Chuck Brown DC Award. That was the most DC thing you have ever said. Here you go, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's be real about this, dog. I got a feeling <laughs> also say John knows his roots and just throws that in there just because. Sick of you. I know he knows his roots. He's just going to pop that in there and we're just going to be like, well, shit, didn't see that coming. Oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. That is funny. I think I'm done talking about JDF fight. Let's get on to Jean Claude. Um, Jean Claude. Jean Claude. Jean Claude. Um, yet again, coming off of Death Warren, he plays a prisoner. This time, he's actually a legit prisoner. He's not an undercover dude playing a prisoner. Um, ah, ah actually, different. He has actually, a, actually, actually, uh, actually, CJ. He was coming straight off of. Uh, uh, no, God, Death Warren was 1990. Dude, he came straight on the set of Last Action Hero to do this. No, movie. no, no. What I'm saying in terms of like the movie, you know, like he did Death Warrant as playing a prisoner. Now he's in oh, oh prisoner. okay, you're making the connections. All right, yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah. Now, he's, now he's an actual prisoner, and uh, apparently him and his, him and his boy, uh, you know, they, they were trying to they were robbing a bank, and uh, his partner killed killed a uh, guard, and that kind of you know gets you hard time in jail. Oh well, for, see, first of all, CJ. Uh, that doesn't get brought up until about a good 45 minutes into the movie. But see, I'm know, burying right? the lead, though. That's what I'm doing. I'm just burying the lead so we I mean, so people have a context of we're why burying he's in leads. jail. <laughs> but if we're burying leads, real talk, I like how when they, when his partner did show up, he helped flip the, um, he helped flip that uh, prison bus. bus over. Hey, uh-huh. who had, hey. Who and had, it was also, hey. it was also good, and, and in real talk, it was also good framing that when he pulled up beside him, Beside the bus, you saw in the front dashboard that he had two days until retirement. I didn't know that. <laughs> that hey, was really talk, good. Man. Who had the who, who had the worst <laughs> prison flip? Fucking Eddie Murphy on another forty eight hours, or Jean Claude Van Damme and Nowhere to Run? Wasn't there a prison flip? Wasn't there a flip bus in um, Jeepers Creepers or some shit like that? Uh, no, 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 there was a, no, there was a flip bust in one of those movies. I don't know what, it, you know what, forget it. Never mind, I don't know. Yeah. Wait a minute, wasn't there a flip bust in Fugitive? Yes. Yeah. Okay, there was another flip bust. Was there a flip bust in, um, in, um, Fast and the Furious, or was that something Fast else? Four. Uh, Fast no, Four. Fast no, Four. No, 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 see, we don't fucking count that because that movie dick teased us on that and it never fucking happened. <laughs> oh, dude, count Quinn, that. you was not lying. You're not lying. Yeah, not yeah, lying. we did. Eric was in the that theater with me when that, that shit count. happened. Right. I'm like, the fuck? The fuck? Yep. <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> no, you know, no, you know, you're doing it, you're doing it wrong. Eris, let's do our famous what? <sighs> what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> understand man how you just gonna show sx oh shit it's gonna go on i'm like Look, direct, what? What? directed by justin lynn oh what? fuck you movie bye lynn bye go in a corner sit down have some cheerios and shut up what'd you do that so um his boy breaks him out and um in typical 90s fashion um the the vehicle of choice all right z28 Okay, can I, uh, can I mention something about the ROXZ? First of all, the other prisoners are escaping, and three of them tried to like try to crawl their way into like, into this car. That, the first Cramped off. ass IROC. And, and first of all, we get the first, the first of three, the first of three bad uh, lines from Van Damme. 
Sorry, the first of ba- the first of three bad one liners. Steal the car, go to hell. <laughs> uh, look, Jay. Is he her Dern look, K O F? I mean, no, no, no. Hold on, no, hold on, Jay. I love you, man. Universal Soldier, Double Impact, favorite movies of all time. Bloodsport, love it. And I know you're just doing your job. You read the script. You even admitted yourself that the script was terrible. And Jesus. you were pro- and I you were promised. <laughs> and you were promised. You were promised by the man himself <laughs> that he would fix it. You came to his house, shook his hand. He promised you right there on the spot. I gave him a handy it. too. Damn. And, and and you said it yourself. He did not fix this. He fixed nothing. So I'm not going to fault you for delivering the bad line. I really won't. But holy Still shit, was that line? But holy shit, is that line bad? And that's just that line, the, the this line, line is, is ba- terrible. The, the line is terrible, and we are only two minutes in. <sighs> so which is worse, then? Grown men trying to slam their sails into the I Rock, aka the Pussy Getter, or <laughs> I mean, or I mean, line. look, look, that line. You're, ta- did you're talking me. about this line. I mean, can we talk about another line that I again I jotted down the notes here and I was laughing oh, at oh, this is in the movie. Oh, we're gonna get. Oh no, D, we're gonna. I mean, say we're gonna get to all of those lines. Okay, I'm just okay, saying. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just. I'm just saying that this was the first. So when I heard when I heard the line, I said. Oh, this movie, I'm in for a treat, aren't I? How did y'all guys like the level one sniper rifle that guard had? <laughs> <laughs> that is the sniper rifle that you get in Call of Duty when you just starting out in the game. You just land in the game. You don't get the Son. upgraded one. This dude literally did Son. the whole he yo, he did the fucking eighteen hundred fucking I'm gonna put my arm underneath the rifle, the fucking straighten it out. Hey man, that's fucking... how you do it though. That's how you do it though, man. <laughs> In a typical 90s, we get the fucking first person view of the bullet crashing into the car. Crashes, like, bullet crashing into the car. My man starts bleeding out from the neck. I'm like, oh, you hit a vital spot, nigga. He's done. And then he did the whole two days to retirement. Ugh. Not even two days to retirement. No, we don't get two days of retirement. Instead, we get, Sam, holy shit. I'm sorry, man. It was all my fault. It should have been me. It should have never been you. I should be in prison, man. Not like not you, man. You're in prison because of me. I'm so sorry. Do you forgive me, man? I I forgive you, Billy. Good. Give me one I didn't want like like good. I didn't want to have to carry that for the rest of my life. <sighs> Death. That was that. You know what, Eris? That was good for your consideration. For your consideration, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the only thing that was missing. Like, just do me one favor. Get Mendoza. <laughs> Mendoza. <laughs> and I would have loved to hear Jean-Claude stop the car. Ah, Mendoza. Complete with his friend having his fucking like, girlfriend's picture in his hand unraveling as his, as he dies and shit. <laughs> it's like we were going to go to Bahamas. Uh. <laughs> My man. Me and I mean, Benny, he... gonna go to go to the farm. <laughs> go have some fall. kids. Raise some kids. <laughs> you did? No, oh. he's just, like, no, he's like raise our, <laughs> raise our, he's like I'm own... like hold on, we <laughs> like I'm gonna farm, like like raise my own animals. Know what I mean? It's like it's gonna be lovely. The death growl. The death growl. Oh. <laughs> uh, you gotta do it in the uh, hold on. You gotta do it in Van Damme. Uh, who saw that coming? I mean, where did that bullet come from? <laughs> so we get a dramatic. No. So we get the dramatic Shawshank burial underneath the tree because I mean, of course buried no, him under, it was like, they buried him under it, the tree. Billy fade out. No, what that happened? And it went to the next scene. Here's me. No way to run would be right. <laughs> <laughs> After these messages, you do, know, do, do, look, <laughs> bro, bro, it's a fr- hold up, hold up. First of all, it's a freeze frame from the movie that wasn't even used. <laughs> it's like, wait, when no, is Jean Claude Jean- Cla- always- gun but a guard? I didn't see that, <laughs> dude, dude. It is always that boring announcer. Nowhere to run will be right back on Saturday movies. <laughs> nah, you gotta do what Kevin Smith did. When he's like, ABC Family Movie, nowhere to run. 
<laughs> dude, dude. And I like, look, look. Ba, ba, you, ba, know ba, ba. you know a movie's good when they do a fa- do a commercial break in a middle of a movie. You know it's going to be a good movie. Uh, actually, actually, guys, real talk. It was at that point I did message both of y'all. Bring y'all a game. This movie <laughs> Is not even trying. That <laughs> Let is, me tell you something. Technically, y'all, y'all about to hear a classic for three bucks because right now we're bringing it, and I love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You did your homework. See, I'm proud of my my homies. Good. <laughs> All I'm saying is, John Claus Poker Face sucks because he goes to the general store, gets some towels and soap and shit, and um, clearly he doesn't have any money. So he no, to- he had no, no, no. He had money. Yeah, he money. Definitely- he had money. He had money to like to get all the stuff. See, what we got was like a little mini time skip of him changing his clothes into a suit, and he goes to uh, like you say, he goes to the general store, and and the, and the uh, the store owner is looking at him like, huh, like so. What are you out here for? Well, I'm hunting. What are you hunting? Deer, hunting deer in a suit and pink flamingos. You ever see any pink flamingos? And I like how as he asked that question, you get in the little radio, a uh, little radio playback about a uh, prison bus had flipped over and a bunch of prisoners have escaped. You're wrong. You're there wrong. You're right there. The radio's off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. W- WKYYX radio, all exposition, all the time. <laughs> Wait, this is a uh, radio station. We're missing a uh, Belgian guy in an IROC Z28. <laughs> Has anybody seen, seen the IROC Z? Like, he may be saying that he's he may be saying that he's from a different place. He may be saying he's hunting deer. He might mention something about pink flamingos. But if you see this man in front of you, please stay away. Call the police as soon as you can. This is Expository Radio signing off. Also, coming up next, the re- coming up next, the plot line to <laughs> to McBain. <laughs> the plot line to McBain. My man. My man was reaching for the gun and said, you ever see any pink flamingos? No, sir, I haven't. Never have and never will. My nigga. <laughs> like, my nigga. <laughs> Look, and, like, and now, of course, and, and of course, and of course, he just, and of course, he looks back at him and says, good. So how much for all of this? Takes off and decides to go set up camp. Yeah. Now, as he set, now, as he set up camp, he opens up this uh, this toolbox, which is like loaded with cash from the bank. I'm guessing from the heist, and he's got a little tape recorder in it. So he hears a message from Billy from beyond the grave saying, "Hey man, if you listen to this tape, obviously I'm not there to count money with you." I'm like, "Oh, that was a uh, oh, nice, nice of him. Nice that was really nice of him. Nice no, Billy, look, see, he knew he knew well ahead that he was disposable, so that's why he did that." <laughs> That was wonderful. They're like, hey, what, like, Billy, like, hey. aka not Michael Dudikoff? <laughs> God. Look, this movie. If this look, look, look. See, this is the fourth time we have mentioned Dudikoff. Now it's time for D to find a Dudikoff movie. You have, you have forced my I hand. Like, I like Chris. to put my hat in the ring on this one. Uh, American Ninja. Just saying. Dude, yes, dude. Look, absolutely. look. This summer. Look, guys, you know, as you know, and I don't think our fans know, but this summer we're going to be doing nothing but America movies. That's so, the I'm Make America see. Great Starter movie pack. America yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> like, ladies and gentlemen, Invasion like, USA. Like, like, ladies and gentlemen, in this MAGA starter kit, we have the following movies. <laughs> oh, dude. It is look in the movies I picked. You already said two of them. One's Invasion USA, so <laughs> one is Invasion USA. I'm thinking about it, but I'm just saying we have mentioned Dudikoff in a span of five months at least four times. We have to get him. We have yeah. to bring out Dudikoff, man. Now, He's the man. He is so underrated. But now, anyway, yeah, now here's the thing. Now, now, I, now, as he as he's listening to the recorder, uh, he tell him he tells him like, "Hey, man, again, it was my fault." That you're in this situation. You've never been here if it wasn't for me. I'm sorry. But hey, Sam, I'm glad I met you. You're disposable. Well, you're disposable, buddy, Billy. And then that's when John Claude took it, took um, had a picture in his pocket of him and started pouring Bud Light on top of it. It is so hard to say goodbye. 
No, no, to say OFWA to yesterday. <laughs> Fucking Wanye from Boys to Men is just randomly there, like, what the fuck was that, Jean Claude? What the fuck was oh, that? No, no, Wanye, no. And then Wanye showed behind her. And I'll take the memory. Come on, Jean Claude, let me hear them pipes. It is so hard to say OFWA. Two years today. This nigga killing him, man. <laughs> Coming to the Soul Train Awards, Jean Claude, Boys to Men. <laughs> in, du- in, a, in, a, in a duet nobody asked for. <laughs> duet for the ages. <laughs> Yo, you did not man. see this duet coming. <laughs> Seriously, we didn't see it coming. <laughs> see, Don, uh, Corn- <laughs> Don, Don Cornelius is asking, why do we even book this <laughs> for the Soul Train? <laughs> <laughs> also, spe- also as backup singer, Wilford Brimley. <laughs> With the shotgun. <laughs> With the shotgun. And the Cajun accent. No, look, dude. Look, I mean that. When look, look, it's kind of funny when it comes to all of our all of our van damage um podcasts. And I suggest anybody listen to them. Our big one is actually I think Bloodsport is the one we got yeah. the most for it. But the one I feel bad that nobody really listens to, and I blame it on the popularity of the movie, is Hard Target. That one is a good podcast, and we just go in on how Wilford Brimley's freaking Cajun accent is one of the best things in cinema, period. <laughs> it needs to be heard. Yeah, oh, so, so all of a sudden, Sam, um, in the middle of the night, you know, he gets his stalking on, and um, he comes upon... Um, Rosanna Farm Arquette house. and family's uh, house. Now, you probably say Arquette. That sounds familiar. Yes. That is the eldest Arquette in the second generation of Arquette family. The Arquette family is a Hollywood family. They're just straight up. There's Rosa. There's uh, there's Rosa. There's David. There's Patricia. Alexis. And then there's like a cousin. Alexis. Alexis, Alexis, Alexis yeah. and uh, Cliff. Yeah, and Cliff. Yeah. So they have a yeah, it's, it, the Arquette family is freaking known, y'all. Hey, so if note. you don't know it, there you go. <laughs> side note: Who's the better? Who's the better? Who's the better white family? The Baldwin's or the Arquettes? Ooh. that's a very really good question. That's a good question because that because to me the Baldwin's without Alec they stink. And I know people don't. And here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. I know a lot of people don't like Alec Baldwin for multiple reasons. F y'all. He was great in Thirty Rock, and he's always great on Saturday Night Live. So f all y'all. But um, I don't know. I think without Alec, they're nothing. See, the Arquettes are always going to be the Arquettes no matter what. So I think they're the stronger family. Can I be honest Just with you? I don't with like Stephen and Alec. Daniel, I'm like, eh. Nobody yeah, cares whatever. about Daniel. Billy, Will, William Billy, Baldwin, I'm Billy. like, eh. Yo, he could have been bigger. He could have been he way bigger. He was a fucking bigger. backdraft. I was like, how the fuck did you not no. get anything off that? Billy Baldwin should be a superstar. But you know the problem is? he All, all he does is come off like a sober version of Steven and a, and a more douchebaggy version of Alec. But so you, it doesn't work for here's him. Part, here's the funny part about it. Out of all the people that have voiced and done Batman, he's the forgettable Batman, and he was actually in a good yeah. fucking Justice League movie, Crisis on Two Earths. Oh my, yeah, that and that's the weird. I think everybody in Crisis, but this is the thing: Crisis on Two Earths had probably one of the better casts because nobody in their right mind will say Mark Harmon is a good Superman, but he's a good Superman. Yes, he is. It's like Nolan North. Nolan North went ahead and did um. The Green Lantern. He's a good Green Lantern. Every freaking Owl Man was James Woods, and he nails oh, it. James Woods chewed the scenery like a motherfucker. In that movie. Gina Tor Gina Torres was on. Um, Gina Torres was Superwoman. She nailed it. Everybody in that movie nailed it, man. And you would think Billy Baldwin would be known for that? Nope. He's just a random Baldwin that nobody cares about. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, and you were That's and, straight up sucks. And you were with a you were in a movie with Kurt Russell. Amazing. Wasn't he in oh uh, god, what was that movie he was in? He was in Bullworth, too. Uh, huh? He was in Bullworth, and he was also in another movie with so many great actors, Virus. Was it Virus I'm thinking of? Keith Sutherland, fucking but, Jamie Lee Curtis. Um the fuck. There was a movie with a there was a movie where it was with him, there was this black dude, and the black dude had a real good death scene. It was like, yo, man, look, my, I remember my dad said, yo, William, 
I don't know what just happened, but he just outacted you, man. <laughs> I forgot who I forgot what movie it might have been virus I don't know I don't remember but it was that one and it was um oh no I'm sorry that's Steven that's fled yeah. so how do we start talking about the ball ones anyway, anyway back so 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 <laughs> Sam is getting his stalky on he's looking at the family and stuff and seeing her take the kids to bed and um I believe he also sees her take I like the shower. how all of it and I like how all of their uh, that, that both of the rooms take place. I mean, both of the rooms are on the first floor. Just saying, <laughs> yeah, they, they very, be on very the small floor. house, very small house. So, and yeah, he, he. I mean, he just straight up look at her, take off her all her clothes, and hop into the shower. I'm like, yo, movie. It's the 12 minute mark. That's a record in a Jean Claude movie. That's pretty good. That is oh, actually pretty good. That is a Can't sincere watch. look. We that that is a true record for us to see. Full on, like full, like full on, nineteen ninety three. Rosanna Arquette titty. And that will be the last time Rosanna actually did that. To be honest with you, she's been known to do that crap. Yeah, that is. She has yeah. been known to do that. Yeah. Now you here's the funny thing. Now hold on, hold on. Now you know what I. Now you know what I thought to myself. I said, well, I said, well, Van Dam, this all like this. This ought to have been a, an interesting evening. You went in, like you went in, sneaking around trying to get, like trying to get, like trying to quote unquote borrow some salt. And you saw a uh, full, like full fledged nudity all in one trip. It was good. <clears throat> this has been a good evening. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I gotta say, and you, and you did well, man. You did well. Yeah, and uh, Karen Culkin sees Jean Claude like he saw Santa Claus, and he's all like giddy and happy and shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you so happy about? This dude came into your house and took salt. He could have killed you. You didn't know this guy. No, right? You never know. He could have snapped no, you no. and all that, boy. Well, no, see, little see, white child, no, <laughs> little see, dumbass you, white child. No, see, according, to, according to Karen's character, uh, he believes that he saw ET again. <laughs> and I said, I said, look, oh, look, you poor sweet look. soul. I'm like, look, Karen, Karen, stop it, please. Don't, don't invoke you. Spielberg into this movie. Don't, don't do it. And then you gotta hit it with you gotta hit it with the professor. Oh my no! Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, and even when his mom was like, "He's make believe. It's not real." Yes, he is real. No, it's not. Oh my no! Oh dearie dear! <laughs> oh dearie dear! My son, stop! Just, just stop it, please. Stop upsetting your mother. I gotta smoke here. I'm a smoker. Because that's what she does. She smokes when they have that argument, and he busts out the house all angry. And we get product placement: Brillo pads. Brillo, yeah. no Brillo pads, and like Brillo pads. And hey, I'm gonna go into the barn. Let me open up this toolbox again because for some reason craft this is where tools. I go. <laughs> like let me let me open up this crafts like this craftsman toolbox to find pictures of my dad and you know the catcher's mid and. Oh. A gun and a gun and a handgun, like an old Smith and Weston for some reason. It's amazing that I can find all this in this handy craftsman tool set. Craftsmen, they make the best tool sets. Daddy, I miss you. It's like, I'm, like, I wish my dad was here. He would actually believe me that I saw E.T. Like, 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 what, like, would you dad, would you dad in the picture? No, I wouldn't. I would have called my son a pussy because I didn't take <laughs> this. <laughs> I mean, look. I tell you about really, dreaming. To, to, I tell to, you about dream, boy. <laughs> hey, to really emphasize that how great of a dad he is, he has a box that literally has world's greatest dad on it because that is the most whitest shit ever. I mean, I, my at least my oldest. My oldest always said, "Dad, you're the best dad ever." And all that. Oh, thank you, son. And all that. I do have this feeling though. My dad said, "My son comes and they like, dad, look what I have for you. It's a dad's world's greatest dad cup. I'll throw that thing right at the wall." Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck I look like, nigga. You try to call me a, you try to call me a bitch. And he's like, D, stop it. What? What? You see what this little nigga did? He threatening me. <laughs> that my manhood. What? <laughs> and we, now here's the sick part. Every woman, and even with my wife here, she's like, I don't get it. What do you mean by that? You ain't a man. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. understand. <laughs> when you get a dick, you'll understand. All right. When you grow up, you understand. <laughs> Till then, look, 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 look. You have your periods and your mood swings. I have my mood swings. <laughs> call it no, 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 no. Actually, no. You look, see, you have your periods and your cramps and your mood swings. While I have my unrational thinking and unrational mood swings. Fair, right? <laughs> so here's the here's, so so we're about twenty minutes into this movie and we finally get the big story. So, 
right there. Roseanne Arquette. Everybody, and, 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 yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You got yeah. it. So Roseanne Arquette's character, Clyde, that's her name, Clyde. She is living on land that the evil white land developers want because if they get her house and land, they actually be able to put some properties on it, put some affordable housing in there and stuff. And I'm like, that's, you know, we plot. might make a mall, an outlet mall. Ooh. Out in the middle and of fucking nowhere, really? You know, <laughs> yo, look, the only thing, I, I was actually saying the same thing. Hey, in the middle of nowhere, where's Eustace and um, Mario at, man? This ain't no, seriously, they are really in the middle of nowhere. I mean, they're in a <laughs> valley, bro, they're in a valley. Yo, and the only, re- and, and, and I give it up for the movie in a way, it's a hell of a way to introduce your villains the whole ground starts shaking and it's because they're exploding. Yeah. They're exploding stuff and all that. I was like, Oh, I was like, okay. So they, your land developers and the land of the person that's developing the land is Mr. Diplomatic community himself. <laughs> or as I like to call him Hans from mighty ducks. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and then you have Ted Levine, who's played everybody, including the famous <laughs> Buffalo Bill from all Silence of the Land. Seriously, you want to get a good character actor? It's Ted Levine. He could be any type of bad Look, guy. You see Ted Levine he, in the 90s? Run. <laughs> yo, actually, I tell you how great he is. Um, he kept the mustache he had when he was doing Monk, right? Mm-hmm. He was on. He he played the chief on Monk. That's what he did pretty good. Oh shit! But, Shot to Tanner and Fast and Furious. Fuck yeah, you're right. Yeah, damn. <laughs> yeah, he kept his mustache, right? And he ended up going on. Um, and uh, remember, he he kept his mustache and he went on Shutter Island, and he was the guard on Shutter Island yeah. that had that little brief, on um, that little brief um conversation with Leonardo DiCaprio. And it was about how human beings are weird and all. <laughs> and even in that little bit of the uh, conversation, he stops it. And he's like, what's stopping me from jumping and like eating your skin or something like that? And just the tension was there. He's like, <laughs> go ahead. And the way it was, like, even this little stuff like that, it's like, dude, you're a hell of an actor. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I got to ask you guys this, though, um, before we continue. So, um. He's in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and I have to wonder, does him and Jeff Goldblum have a scene together? That'd be awesome. Oh, no. Ted Levine is either at a computer or he's shooting at the dinosaur and he dies. One of the two. Don't do that so, to me, man. I need him <laughs> and Jeff Goldblum in a movie just monologuing some crazy shit. No, no, no. Ted Levine is going to be like, so what the hell do we do now? I guarantee you that's going to hop out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, so you think he's going to be good, but, so, you think, so you think he's going to be buttoned up against Chris Pratt and his, uh, in his, uh, in his uh, pet raptor? He's like I say. He he's going to be behind the computer, or he's going to be a part of the poachers, and he's going to die. It's like blue, kill him. All right, two. let's go. It's either one of the two, man. But anyway, yeah. So that goes. So on he's blue. he's part of the land developer. So you have those two, which spells doom because it's basically those those two are really the face of the bad guys. Everybody else is just random henchman number fifty two. Goons. <laughs> Goons for hire. <laughs> Of different mm, ethnicities, white, black, Hispanic, you you name it. There's an ethnicity there. Minus I didn't American, see no black ones. I didn't see no black like ones. One. It was one. Yeah, it was, there was at least one. Come on, man. There's at least one. At least one black person in that damn valley. <laughs> at least man, one. one black. Maybe one. Um, and also, um, the sheriff is um, apparently that's helping them out. He's also on their payroll as well. And um, oh, said sheriff, said, said sheriff has a crush on Clyde, which of course he does, but because he's corrupt, Clyde. Clyde, and because he's corrupt, you know he he isn't quite on the level of Jean. You know what? I wouldn't call him corrupt. I would just call him easily influenced. Okay. This is really yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's corrupt. Yeah, corrupt he really is. He really is. He really isn't corrupt because. Even he's trying to say, yeah, I'm taking this bribe, but this really feels wrong for me to do it. I mean, I'm like the local sheriff and all, and I should technically be arresting y'all for the, you know, like for the strong arm tactics. So well, you know, but you're paying me so well. And going back to the other villain, um, he asked, hey, so, uh, like, so this, like, so this woman that owns this house, uh, you happen to be fucking her, man? Just wondering. (laughs) Yo, and so it's just straight to the point. Ted. It's like, nah. Oh, Ted. <laughs> but up, up, but up, up. 
dead. Put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> hey, look, Ted's just asking a simple question. Granted, rude as hell, and yes, private as a but what? still, like, but still, as a villain, I'm sorry, as the second in command villain, um, you're pretty much allowed one. He, I mean, so what he tells him, hey man, it's none of your business. Hey, I'm just asking. Like, look, I ain't mean nothing by it. It was good to meet you. But before you go, do me a favor. Pick a card. Any card. And uh, he does a little card trick with him. And I like how he pulls out the card. And he says, hey, uh, was this your card? No. Your card trick sucks. And he goes, he dips off. And when he gets inside to, to count the money, he actually finds the card that was his. Yeah, the two of uh, two of um clubs. Which even I had to ask that question. Um, hey, Ted, how the hell did you do that? I went with the, the sheriff. The sheriff was like this. God, great. Now I got to go in there and say he's a fucking genius. Great. Oh, now I got to compliment him. <laughs> Bullshit. It was amazing. That was, so, a, that was legit amazing. Ugh. So after that, after he has that two minute of a thousand yard stare because mine apparently was blown. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I went to a club and his mind was blown like, oh, my God. Oh my god! This brilliant son of a bitch! <laughs> no, no. At that point, Mother at that point, god. no. At that point, I'd have been like, "All right, time for me to go ahead and uh, you know start getting some backup and all this shit because this, this, this something ain't right." Are you doing? Come the on, Cam, man. Are you doing the Cam Newton nod after homeboy did through that touchdown? He's like, "All right, cool. All right, all right, yeah. all right, all right." All right. <laughs> I know what I gotta do now. All right, cool. Bet. All right. Like, all right, bet. So, you know. Motherfucker managed to sneak. Motherfucker managed to sneak the card that I picked was mine. Already had it in the pack of money before I even got the money. Yeah. So basically, um, Hale, that's the sheriff. He visits Clyde, and they're talking. Meanwhile, Sam is off in the back, stalking, listening on the conversation. Now the sheriff. Now the sheriff's name is Lonnie. I thought it was. No, I thought it was okay. Lonnie. He's talking. Yeah, to Clyde. Hale. Hale is the it was the uh, was that billionaire who was trying to build who was trying to blow up all those uh, all the land. Okay, yeah, I, <clears> you said it up. wrong. You said it wrong. Actually, his name is Diplomatic Immunity. Yeah, yes. Diplomatic Immunity. I'm sorry, Franklin Diplomatic Immunity. Hale. <laughs> he's he's looking on during the conversation. <laughs> he's looking at the conversation and stuff. And like again, he really likes Clyde. He's all like, you know, kiss her on the cheek and stuff. And she's like, oh, whatever and stuff. And nothing's happening. Oh no! no He's like, oh no! Don't do it. Yeah, with Switch, I'm like, hey, dude, she friend zoned you, man. Just, 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 just admit, just let it go. She friend zoned you. All right. I gotta be honest with you. That ain't the first time he got friend zoned either. <laughs> 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 the look on her face is like. Oh god, he's doing it again. Oh yay! I mean, you're such a good. Yeah, right here, right here. Don't go nowhere, please. Don't. Thank you. All right, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's not so much you get friend zone. It's just when a guy gets friend zone like that, it just hurts. It's painful for everyone involved because the girl really just look. I just really just want to be friends. I don't want to bang you. <laughs> It's painful for the guy because you let all your feelings out like, there. And it's painful for the It's like, I don't even want to touch your penis, all right? Just, just, just go. Just go. <laughs> it's like, I don't even want to touch you. <laughs> Look, and it's painful for everybody looking because either A, we knew where you fucked up at, or B, oh, dude, just don't, don't. She don't like you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just not that into you. It ain't going to work, man. I know what you see in your brain, man. So, just have your Carl Thomas moment. Look, go in, look, just go in the shower, sing Emotional by Carl Thomas, and forget about it, dog. We cut to Kieran. Find, you know, the next night, he comes in there to drop the salt off, and Kieran drops the ball down there to kind of, like, surprise him and stuff. And Jean-Claude was like, oh, shit, and got the fuck to dodge. So <laughs> Leaving the campsite. Yeah. So like run, running back to his campsite. Now, yeah. now, actually, actually, that was more of once the ball dropped down in front of him, and like, and he almost knocked over the uh, the lamp. Uh, you know what was running through mine? Holy shit! The jig is up. Run, waste basket. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't even say where that came from. I'm not. If you know where it came from, you are a beast person. Okay? Oh, man. 
So you know what, Eris, Eris, you have that show. I have drawn together references, so we're good. We're good as people. Yeah. <laughs> so he stalks him back. Meanwhile, Sam, you know, to get his rocks off, he's reading a uh, bootleg Playboy magazine called Top Heavy. Top Heavy. Top. I always wanted to know was that a real magazine? It was the '90s, so I have to imagine it was one of like bajillions of like, duty magazines that existed. You know, went out of business. Like that was like one of those short, like, that was, like that was like one of those like that dude. From the looks of it, that looked like one of those short-lived, like probably twelve issue ran magazines that got absorbed by fucking damn Playboy and Penthouse or something. <laughs> right. Oh no, make it worse. It got absorbed by Hustler. Oh shit. Yeah, man. it got. Yeah, I'm about to say it probably got eaten up by Hustler, man. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, yes, not to take out the puppy of top heavy, man. So these breasts are not that good. <laughs> so <laughs> just not that good. Here and finds them and stuff, and that's okay. <laughs> that was okay. That was okay. Now, how are you gonna have a black gun in here? And it's not even coming with any. Hey, you! Ah! <laughs> so Karen finds them and at night and stuff, and it's kind of like, hey, 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 don't say anything or whatever. CJ, I'm sorry. First of all, the balls on this kid. He looks at Van Damme dead in the eye and say, why do you have a gun? You a bad guy? Well, the fact that the gun was pointed at him and he asked him, why do you have a gun? So the next morning, he rolls up there with his sister and Jean-Claude is bathing in the lake. And he was about to pop out there nude before the girl kind of looked at him like, ew. So he rolls back into the No, lake. man. No, 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 this is what happened. Jean-Claude was in the, Jean-Claude was in the lake in the little pond, washing himself up, you know, over there, you know, swimming with all the fish and the freaking leeches in there. And he's over there singing and having a good old se- self a good old time. I want a place to stay. Get your booty <laughs> on the phone. Oh, suck it, blue kid. <laughs> this is suck it, blue. <laughs> Are you serious? He was, bro, he was really singing. Was he really singing Pop Up the Jam? <laughs> Yo, 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 you know he was. And you know him. It's John claude Van Damme. You know he was. Van Damme singing fucking Technotronic. I want a place to get the booty on the phone now. Make my day. And you know he was making the sound effects too. When he first got in the water, he was like, don't, 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 don't. Don't 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 dance for fucking <laughs> don't 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 you know he was about to remix and do another song. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what he did. Actually, actually, because I know the, the day time. Like he was like, make my day, 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 day. I want to be a freak until the night, until the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we can pump up. <laughs> so we can pump up. Oh, suckling blue children. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> that a bit of a conversation. Yo, the, little girl, the little girl did what I would have did. I'm out of here. I see his triangle. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> hey, no, for real. Real recognized real. Jean-Claude was in excellent shape, man. The nigga had a triangle going on down there, man. Good for him. They have they have the, they have a little chat and stuff, and they get called back by their mom. So finally the henchmen make That's their appearance. So finally the henchmen make their appearance and, and start harassing Clyde when she gets up there and stuff, and that's when Jean-Claude basically appears. You know, and basically kicks ass in the only way, in the in the Jean-Claude way of, of doing things and such. You know, breaking people's <laughs> arms, doing splits, those kind of things, you know? He didn't do no splits. No, I he didn't do a split. No, he I, did. know, he I know did. he didn't do splits. I was just saying. That's just, you know, the Jean-Claude. Actually, no, no, it's okay. No, Chris, it's okay, because I imagine him doing splits, too. <sighs> Yeah, she's not a part. The part, she's not a part hold on, hold on. The part where, like, the part where the dude flipped over the, tr- like, the part where the dude jumped over the truck to try to tackle Van Damme, and he monkey flipped him over. We couldn't see it because of the camera, but when he monkey flipped him, he actually went into a full split. We just couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. I, I think it's. This I think that's a good enough excuse for all of us. I think that's a good excuse. That worked, guys. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, there was oh. Let's also not forget the other line delivery. Who are you? I'm the part. <laughs> attendant and you're disturbing my customers so 
basically, um, after they had a little chat of where he, you know, saw his kids and stuff, uh, he's sleeping in the barn now, so he's not leaving the tent. Upgrade, I guess. Still technically yeah. outside. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say, still out there with all the, all the, you know what, she has this look like, oh my God, this guy's a rapist, he's going to kill me. <laughs> he's going to rape my children, then, kill me. When he's in the house taking a shower, her fucking damn friend zone sheriff boy comes up in there. Fucking coming Goes from girl. zero to my man came in there going zero to a hundred real quick, like yanked for shower curtain open and had a gun on him. I I'm mean, like, bro. I mean, I didn't know Jean Claude Van Damme was black. Holy shit! <laughs> like, bro, you got a gun on a man in the shower. What is he gonna do? Not, but here's the thing. He he was she was really he was really strict because I would have been the same way. Wait a minute, man. What you doing in this what you doing in this house? Is this reason why she ain't fucking me? Huh? 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 <laughs> Bullshit. Said that. Spent two years Who trying you, to huh? get spent two years trying to get some play from her. She don't want to even fuck his dick. Now that you motherfucker come. Do you know You know what I'm saying? You know how long I've been stalking her? I mean, you know how long, <laughs> how long I've been Yo, stalking her. Here's the kicker, right? I have to imagine because at one point Jean Claude is like literally watching out the window and they're talking and I'm pretty sure that's the conversation that they're having because when they ended with him trying to kiss on the cheek she did a uh I don't want you to kiss me shit boy she turned her head around hard didn't she oh man that was fucking hilarious I'm like now nah, I know your ass is in the friend zone on that shit there ain't no way you can tell boy, me if you were if you weren't in it you were definitely in it now. That's like call. That's what like we call overstepping your boundaries. There, it's like, come on, dog. You didn't have to pull the gun out on him and stuff. So, like, bruh, three, like, bruh, three feet in the ounce of space, please. Basically, so yes, sir. <laughs> we cut to the dinner scene. And this is this is the line that I was fucking dying. So they're eating dinner. Not that I would say breakfast more than anything else. Not breakfast, but. No, but he no, 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 no. They weren't having breakfast or dinner. They were having movie food. Okay. Yeah, movie ah, food. movie food. Yeah, movie that's food. that. There you go. So, but you know, it makes it so. What makes it great is that uh, that uh, Karen is like, so you're a dad type person. Can we do da- dad and son things? Oh my goodness, you're so awesome. You know what's so awesome about you? You can do kung fu and stuff. And you can protect our family. You know, I, I you know I don't have a dad, right? Oh man, you're so awesome. That's his whole that's his whole motivation. I have a, I have a, a male in the house. At the same time, can you really blame him though? I mean, the kid no, I really don't. doesn't. I don't blame you know, him the, at all. the kid really doesn't remember his actual father and see and having somebody be in the house. You know, who actually does have appearance of being a quote unquote father figure. <laughs> Might as well. No, here's the thing. Yeah, he did. Put, ah. He did put hands on these people that try to get his mom. So I don't blame yeah. him. No. And like and then you know, but then at first he, you know, he had a look of concern because my man, like, because Sam is asking, you know, the motorcycle in the in the barn. I want to buy it. It's like <laughs> I give you like two hundred dollars, like three hundred. Take it or leave it. Fine, I'll take it. So that's what the kid starts going. No, mom, don't chase him away. Are you really gonna leave? Don't leave. Why don't you stay here? Please be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And I mean, then he is, saying, he is saying, please be my dad in at least 70 different ways of saying it. Oh my. I, I look, I feel I feel for the little kid a little bit because he's right, man. It's like, look, dude, you're the greatest thing I've ever seen, man. I need you here. Mom no. ain't help. Look, mom chase away every dude that come in here, man. I need you to help. No, no, here's the thing. There was a line at the table that had me rolling. So the daughter's literally sitting up there saying. The daughter decided, saying, I don't know about y'all. Hey, mom, this nigga packing. This nigga got a big pain. She straight up says, he has right. a big pain. And, yo, Cloudy's like, Bree. He's like, he does. And then, and then the son, uh-huh. and then Kieran was like, well, I mean, he was in the pond washing, mom. That's how she knows. And then all of a sudden, the mom's like, well, he's got an average penis. And then the son's like, how, how do you know? I, mean, like, I already saw it. I already. saw it. I saw it. <laughs> already? I don't want to hear any more then, about penises, oh, son. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Then let's jump to the next level. So does that mean you're going to sleep in her bed next? I like how during this whole conversation, Jean-Claude is just silent the whole time. Just like silent and uncomfortably eating. <laughs> I'm like uncomfortably eating what looks to be mashed potatoes. That's probably not salted. There. I said yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You said it right no, in front. No, no he got food. the... No, he got the salt. He definitely got the salt back. It 
was it was earlier in the movie when we see Clyde make grits. And nigga, them shits did not look like grits. Hey, even Kieran look, had that like, look hey. like even even Kieran had that look like, bro, where's the salt at? I need first something. Off, first off, she the type of person that puts sugar in the grits. That's a terrorist right there, all right? It's a terrorist. It's a terrorist. Really? 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 Sugar grits is a terrorist to you. Yeah. Put eh, salt okay. in that shit. Nah, nah. Cool. Come on, salt, man. Salt, 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 salt and butter. I just like say. I just like because that that seemed like it came from a dark. That seemed like it came from a place with you. Like, nah, man, nah, look, hell no. Look, 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 there, folks, man. There's a war that's a brewing. All right, between the black <laughs> folks. There are black folks that put sugar in their grits, and there are black folks that put salt and butter on their grits. Choose a side. It's civil fucking war. Choose a side. <laughs> it's civil war salt out here. All right, butter, of salt butter, nothing else. Wow, I can't believe Chris is really going on there. It's like, no, nah, nah, do you understand, man? We gotta get rid of these motherfucking, these sugar hat loving motherfuckers. <laughs> Actually, I venture to say, if you don't put nothing on your grits, you're a terrorist. All right. Yo, God, no! If you do put nothing on there, what is wrong with you? Like for real, what is what the hell? Is wrong with you? you who did who didn't love you as a child? It's like, what do you put on your grits? <laughs> uh, nothing. I just eat it as is. <laughs> like, did you as ever is. have any, like, like, bro? Did you ever have any couch time in your life? That's the type of person that eats cream of wheat and don't put no fucking sugar in it. I'm like, what the fuck are you? Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. And my wife, oh, God. Man, my, cream of oh, hold on, my, cream of like cream of wheat, and no cinnamon. Oof. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you, because my wife done spoiled me, man, nigga. I never, I, I hated cream of wheat all my life. This bitch had the nerve to put cinnamon in it. I don't know how to act without that. <laughs> Go to fucking IHOP. Can I get a uh, cream of wheat? Y'all put cinnamon in it? No, honey, we're getting the no, fuck out of here. This fuck bullshit. this place. <laughs> like, fuck like you know what? Cancel. Like you know, cancel my order. Just cancel that shit. Oh, we just hold, no, no, just like nah, we out of here. We out, we out of here. And right before you leave, you turn to uh, to waitress. Oh, this whole motherfucker burns. <laughs> <Y'all>, <laughs> no, <I. laughs> yeah, like Mrs. Look, 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 Mrs. Mrs. McCormick, we got another one. <laughs> <laughs> I li- By the way, I like that character. Honestly, I really do. Uh, with a teenage kid. Yeah. Mrs. McCormick. Mrs. O'Brien, another one threatening us. It's always ha- it has to be just any type of random name, Mr. or Mrs. whomever. So, uh, <laughs> oh my god. So, um, we cut to we cut, we cut to a um, do we do we call this a town hall that they're having? Oh, the, right, 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 right. the oh, town hall. You mean you, you mean the sales pitch meeting? My it's man, like the monorail the, sales pitch for fucking The Simpsons. It really is. Yeah, because the whole time my man is just my man is just just pitching this shit. He is selling the hell out of his idea. Diplomatic immunity. This valley is just filled with diplomatic immunity. I would never <laughs> want to do anything to desecrate this <laughs> diplomatic immunity of a valley. And go ducks. <laughs> I hate you, Chris. <laughs> Flying me. He says, but, like, but it could use so much more development and become economically stronger. It like there's so much that could be done with this land. Like, could you like could you really honestly imagine something like this for your family? You all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I've lived in this land all my life. Like sad wine and like cracker crooker is gonna ruin my biscuit cup. <laughs> And then that's look. And then that's where Eric stands up. Now, who can disagree with that? <laughs> <laughs> Not only was that authentic frontier <laughs> gibberish. Yeah, not even front, no, 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 not frontier. Not only was that authentic valiant, like Valinian gibberish. <laughs> Valinian gibberish. It's a spirit that we don't have. I'm so glad that these children are here to witness it. <laughs> now, <Johnson. laughs> Yo, it's always great when we can bitch in blazing saddles, man. Yo, yo, <laughs> did, you, did y'all guys peep the lighting on fucking him, Mr. Bruh, that, diplomatic that community? Shit, it's like, bro, that, that was so that evil. Shit, it's like the lighting shit, emphasizes evil off the break. It's like, come on, that's, really? That's exactly that's exactly what that was. Dude, that was horror movie lighting. Like, dude, if this isn't the most obvious villain ever, you can even see the smoke behind him. Yo, I was waiting fucking, what's the name of that fucking movie with the puzzle box? 
in the fucking um the, the oh oh the Ouija board. No no no. Uh, um, the shit with the fucking pinhead. I was waiting for pinhead to pop out of nowhere. Like, yes. We oh, pinhead take- on Hellraiser. Hell- yeah, Hell- yeah, yeah fucking Hellraiser. Pinhead come behind fucking diplomatic immunity and be like, yes, solve the puzzle. Time to play a game. <laughs> time to play the game. And he, he, he stops <laughs> like, hold on a minute. Like, now he's, he's st- it's time to play. He stops and all of a sudden turns around. Uh, wrong movie. Uh, the movie set's over there, by the way. Just out there. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Jean Claude, I love you. <laughs> no, like, but before I go, would would anybody like to play the game? <laughs> anybody? No, no nobody. No, no, no. Screw all of you. Screw all of you. This movie sucks. This <laughs> movie <laughs> sucks. Like I got a game. Hellraiser is never going. Look, nah, Hellraiser nah. is never going to suck. <laughs> nah, nah. Fucking henchman. Fucking uh, lieutenant over there be like, I got a game. It's called Why Don't You Suck My Dick? How about that? <laughs> Yeah. Yo, the lighting is so unnecessarily ominous. I swear to God. It's like, yes, give us your soul. Give us your soul. It's like, Please sign over your land to us. Trust me, you will be handsomely rewarded for Scientology it. is so great, isn't it? Don't you understand that all of you hicks will be fine? Monorail, 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 monorail. <laughs> Is there a chance to track it, Ben? Not of your life, my Hindu friend. Why you sit here about a devil? <laughs> no, 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 no. Monorail, monorail. So, um, and then, and then hold on, hold on. Then, then Rosanna's character, Rosanna's character is like, no, but this shouldn't be done. Like, they can't do this to us. Sorry, Mom. The mob is spoken. Oh, the mob is spoken. <laughs> so, um, we cut to, um, after they, after Clyde leaves in a huff, um, her house is on fire. And, oh. uh, uh, you know, Sam gets the bright idea. All right, we'll get this bulldozer. We're going to knock over this water tower. We're going to save your house. And he does it. Knocks over the water tower, and it, uh, basically, um, it doused the really? house. No, it didn't douse the house. It doused the gas tanks. Yeah, the gas tank. Yeah, the gas tank. My bad. I see. When do you have your hands up? Um, you over there. Hi. These show three black geeks. Um, tonight are Mythbusters. Everything that just fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> how did you have enough time to like run? Like, how did you have enough time to run from? the barn at Clyde's house all the way over to the neighbor's house get six or seven horses out of there and hop hop into a freaking tractor and struggle yes struggle to knock down a damn water tower just first off the John Deere company will be fucking pissed off that that fucking shit did not represent the John Deere tractors very well by the way you know man he still he struggled he was struggling like hell at least for a solid five seconds because because you know just as well as I do that that had to been the slowest buildup of of a propane tank expanding and damn near milliseconds from blowing up. Oh my god, man! Oh man! So he saves the day, and um, he ends up having that uh that that father son. Karen gets that father son moment that he always wanted him off the break, you know. And stuff, and I thought, oh, I was like, ah, oh, that's a Kodak moment, and complete with Clyde uh, looking at him like, I'm gonna fuck you after this. I hope you know that, right? You know, uh, you good with my uh, kids, and all the rest uh, of this. It was more, no, it was still more of, mm, I mean, I like it. You can stay here, you know, for a night or two if you want. It's okay. She didn't get into I want to fuck you level yet. We're not at that phase just yet. No, no, no. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, we getting there because yeah, for her, like, because for her it was more. For her, it was more. Of, eh, I mean, it's a he's nice. Figure. I mean, he's nice enough, but you know, I don't know yet. I still need some. I still need. I still need something. I need something to come around to make me say I really want to go after this guy. Oh, hi, friend zone cop. <laughs> hey, can I point out something here? So um... friend zone, fit friend zone, <laughs> <laughs> friend zone Bill, like Lonnie the friend zone sheriff. <laughs> so can I point out something? So I'm laughing at this scene hard because Jean Claude has been fixing a motorcycle. And I immediately, in my head, went to fucking X-Men Origins Wolverine, where he had a fucking motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know why, for some reason in my head, I connected these two movies because of that shit. I don't know what fucking possessed me to do that. And I was just laughing like, nah, you can't connect this shit. I was like, that's a Wolverine head. Yeah, I know, but still, you can't connect it. It's impossible. 
Yeah, and my and the sheriff hating ass. That's a triumph. Yeah, it's very rare. Mm-hmm. No, I'm sorry. Anymore. No, no, I'm sorry. That was late. That was later on. My bad. My bad. But yeah, that yeah. was a triumph bike. Which real talk? Those are good bikes. I was all for him fixing that junk up. Good for him. <laughs> good for so, him. So um, they go to the local uh, local local uh, um, hardware store, and that's where uh, fucking Lieutenant Henchman to Jean Claude and they had the face down. Hey, how you doing there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> like, like, what kind of uh, like, you working on a truck or like a car or something? A motorcycle. And here we get. Here we get Van Damme getting his accent uh, and clowned on. A what? Motorcycle. A what? A wake a call. A wake a call. <laughs> a wake a call. <laughs> that was the he, only thing that was missing was a wake a call. My man said a motorcycle. Like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, like what kind? Uh, it's a Triumph. Triumph, huh? Yeah, that's a Triumph's a good bike. They uh, they don't make those anymore. Like, like They don't make them like that anymore, do they? No, they do not. Only thing missing was the hell you from. Only thing I love missing that. from him was literally a Make America Great Again hat in that scene. I swear to God, because he hat, a Mangler hat was the only thing missing, bro. I'm surprised he didn't come in there with a fucking camo jacket and a fucking John Deere hat and shit. I'm really shocked he didn't. Well, well, he's close enough. I mean, he had like what was it, a cigarette or a toothpick, and the and like and the um and the Ray Bans. No, oh, I'm sorry, no, the no, 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 sir. He had a tucked in fucking polo shirt. Yeah, tucked in polo shirt with aviator shades. Yeah, aviator shades. You know, like I'm not racist, but I am racist. I'm like diet racist almost, basically. You know, that's also and that's also. Hey, just so you know, I'm the side. Like, I'm sorry. I, I'm the like I'm the sub boss before you fight them, boss. Now, Let the me thing. introduce myself. Now I'm laughing at the next scene where he's in the bulldozer. Peep the guy next to him with the wild ass fucking hair and got his leg kicked up like it ain't shit. I made a note of that. I was like, so that looked like the dude from fucking uh, Top Gear. Oh no, I got one even better. <laughs> no, hold on, I got one even better for you. I mentioned this to D, and I, I'm gonna mention this to you, CJ. I want to know if you paid attention to it as well. So when they were offering up the idea. AKA, we're getting ready to pay these dudes off. Uh, the four like, drivers and the like track drivers, the one that was sitting next to him as he was asking him, so this is how you like so this is how you work this lever and this is how you do that. Did you peep my man with the De Niro face? Nigga. I know, right? Yes. That tight, that tight happy, that tight face. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Bruh, man. That was like my man had that look like Tommy just got made. <laughs> hey you hey <laughs> i'm sorry every time you mention tommy made i just immediately go from them being happy to sad to nero face as he's hitting the fucking phone against the fucking and yeah, knocking it down <laughs> he actually knocked down the they phone. killed him they fucking killed tommy they fucking killed him <laughs> with the legit like, with the legit crying sad nero face we will never get that sad to nero face ever again <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let him do a bad movie. <laughs> 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 okay, so they come up with the idea of, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take these bulldozers. We're going to go over to, I was like, we're going to take these tractors. We're going to come over and we're just going to wreck up this lady's land. That's what we're going to do. Shove it right up. Ass. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? what are we doing again? That's right, Tex. Tex. <laughs> so, so, of course, this idea already off. Without a hitch, for all of three right. seconds. Oh, side note: fucking friend zone. Bill was sitting back up in the woods watching fucking Sam and fucking uh, Clyde have a conversation, and I'm like, wow. Only thing that's missing is an Usher R&B song playing as you're watching. He's <laughs> in my confession. <laughs> nah, that one confessions for him. That was let it burn. <laughs> And you and you think we were making just cracking fun that he's the fucking uh, uh, fucking friend zone Bill? He's literally waiting out on the steps of her place and does the whole "Hey, why don't you just come over here and let's look at the stars?" And she's just looking at him like, "No, no, like, get it. what are you doing?" Like, I really, like, I really don't feel like it tonight. Like, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong. Oh well, like, well, like, 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 look, are you still upset about the about the barn being burned down? No, that has nothing to do with it. Well, you know, when you figure it out, you let me know. Hey, hey, you know, you know the official beer of somebody that's about to fucking beat the shit out of somebody? Budweiser. That's what he's drinking. Budweiser. 
when you want to put hands on somebody, you get a Budweiser. Yo, as soon as he started talking to her and he got loud, I was like, what is he drinking again? Budweiser? Ah, there we go. There we there go. There it is. There it is, right? I knew he, I knew it was I knew it was I knew it was a small penis having beer. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, man. Like I remember growing up at family reunions and seeing my like uncles drink Budweiser. I tried it when I was of age and I'm like, what the fuck is the big deal? I don't like it. What the hell is this? What is this? Man, I don't blame you, bro. I was the same way, man. I'm still like that with beer, man. Like, I just, people drink this shit every day. Why? <laughs> wow. Welcome to like welcome to my world. Beer okay. is like water in Japan. Especially Corona. I'm like, yo, Vin, you, you realize you're advertising piss water, right? You know that you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> corona. Now, now, you know, now you know when the now you know when the cop um <clears throat> like when Officer Lonnie like like comes across Van Dam again. You know, part of me part of me had that look like like he should like like he just wanted to say so so you're a cousin, huh? Welcome to the valley. Biatch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was unnecessary for me. I'm referencing. No, see, the thing is, I'm referencing. Um, what's his name? I'm referencing that that scene from The Walking Dead when Rick was trying to like when Rick was like low key trying to get in on that girl that was married, and the husband Pete, who we all knew has been beating on her, uh. Had, <laughs> <laughs> So you know where I'm going with this. No, I'm Jay. sorry. That had to be the greatest Jack move of all time. Rick came up there, pistol whipped <laughs> him, and then fucked his damn wife afterwards. That's the Jack move of a century right there, dog. <laughs> all before she got slaughtered by zombies. The kids no, included. I never thought I could see. I never saw the day that they would ever, ever pull that off. I was like, yo, that is such a Jack move. It's ridiculous, man. All in one swoop. She got, yo, she saw him beat her husband down and she got all like, oh, I'm fucking him tonight. And it was a wrap. It was actually, no, it wasn't until after. It wasn't until after he shot him. Because remember, remember we get the Deanna line. Rick, do it. No problem. Gunshot. <laughs> Yo, she got so fucking wet off that shit. I was like, God damn, you are in like Flint, dog. He knows he was. So but that's the but that's the vibe I'm getting between La- between Lonnie and, and Sam is like like it is like it's this shit where you know something's gonna go down, somebody's gonna throw hands. But unfortunately unfortunately for Van Damme, uh, Lonnie had to cuff him. He cuffed him to the barn first. Yep. And you know, he thought he thought he figured out who he really was, and he just said, "Look, I know one thing. That's not a cut." Mm. Well, yeah, of course, because <laughs> he's the he's the he's been friend zone, so he has all the inner workings of the family and stuff, basically. So yeah. nah, 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 nah. See, at this point, see, I see it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? She fucking, she ain't trying to say nothing to me. You know, the nigga that's gonna provide for. Her. I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? I make forty thousand a, a year. She don't can't even afford that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now all her kids and everything about her. How is she, how she going to talk about that? Nigga, like I don't do nothing for her. You can't even believe it. I can't believe it. Yeah, man. I ain't ask you, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to tell me. going to make me feel like I'm less of a man. How you, nigga, how you make it? How does that feel? How does that feel, man? With some girl, some woman going to tell you. Tell you how to, how, 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 you know, you can't be with me. See, that's the problem. That's why men go crazy. You know what I mean? That's why men go crazy. Yeah, I know exactly what you said. Nigga, shut the fuck up. I ain't asked you to talk. <laughs> that you know, happened. I'm just, la- you know but I'm just laughing how, like, before we go back to where Aaron's at, before that, though, how, like, fucking the lieutenant and the fucking friend zone Bill over there were talking it up on how they're going to get rid of Sam. And I'm like, wow. So that's what's up. Yeah. Oh, what? You thought that wasn't going to happen? Oh, this is happening. <laughs> hey, pussy makes you do stupid shit. So that's what happened. Friend zone Bill was just like, "Yo, well, I gotta have it." Well, and well, in his case, lack of pussy makes you do stupid shit. There you go. Yeah, lack, yeah, lack of pussy. Thanks. My bad. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> lack yeah, of pussy, yeah, desperation. I'm pretty sure Buffalo Bill saw him and was like, "All right, I'll take advantage of his desperation." He ain't gonna get fucked still, but okay, well, I'll take advantage of this. Why not? I was even before. I already know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, brother. Sometimes you gotta steal it. Can't just sit there and do this. 
You saying rape? Oh, I didn't say rape, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, maybe. Yo, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. 90. I'm sorry. He looks like somebody that literally has probably raped a chick or two in, in this movie. Oh, he has. Oh, you know he has, man. That's why Diplomat Lance. knew he picked him. That's why he picked him. He was like, hey, 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 hey. Ruthless. <laughs> like, He's ruthless. <laughs> Even more like him. It's like, how many women have you raped? <laughs> uh, about 10. Huh. Hmm. 16. I don't know. Something more like than that. I, I can, know. like, more than I can count. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit from Blazing Saddles. Rape, pillaging, and rape again. Did you say rape twice? Yes, no, it was, I like rape. it was rape. Like it was rape, arson, and rape. You said rape twice. I like rape. <laughs> <laughs> he said, like, God damn it, Slim Pickens. You're, you're hilarious. <laughs> so, he handcuffs him, like, like, like Sue said. He handcuffs him and stuff, and uh, basically tries to, like, punch him like he's Jesus on the fucking cross and stuff. I'm like, come on, dog. Really? We're doing this? I'm pretty sure that doesn't hurt fucking Sam. He's just faking it for you to make you look like you're tough. Oh, oh man. Ooh, it's just to make man. you feel just to make you feel like you're in control. Even with the nice stick, I'm pretty sure he was like, oh, my God, that hurts so bad. Oh, oh. Ooh. oh, my goodness. Oh, the pain. Excruciating. What type of pain was this? If I know the sweet release... So the sweet release of death, I will then feel like something is as burning me. Oh no, one more strike will surely take me down. Are you making fun of me? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, because it's like when he's hitting them, and I'm like, yo, John, yo, Sam looks so uninterested after he's punching them. Like, I guess I gotta fake like I'm getting hit. All right, cool. <laughs> Great. Now I gotta actually work for this. <laughs> now I gotta act like it hurt after he uncuffs me. All right, I guess I'll leave. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! So basically, is this is this where I, where my whole thing of her kind of like having that I want to fuck you thing because she's just hatching him up and he has like he's shirtless. Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah, this is where it takes place. So guys, how do you like look? You what's the cure for? Let's see, bruised ribs and. A slightly fractured ego. For two of the sex. Really? Huh. Didn't huh. see that coming. Like, the person who made this was a man. So, I don't know. Actually, no. What it was, you know what it was? Like, look, nigga. By the way it's looking, I don't know if we can ever do this. So, um, drop them draws now. Now. <laughs> right hey, now. Hey, 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 much like bad boys and stuff, I'm looking at Jean like, uh, apparently... Apparently, her touching you fixed your wrist because you because you definitely are fucking raising up pretty quick there, huh? Hey, don't oh. judge me. Do you do you understand how long I've been in jail? I am. This is happening right now. I mean, if we're going real world logic and stuff, if it's been a while, he probably came in like one minute and stuff, and it was like, ah, that was a false alarm, false alarm, false alarm. Well, we would never know because we got that fade right out of existence, and we see her ironing this man's draws. See, here's my thing. Hey, look. You know you did it right when she's ironing shit that don't need to be ironed. <laughs> man, you know what, man? We just came off of doing waist deep, and we talked about that sex scene and stuff. Now, granted, I know the circumstances are different, but it's like, you're waist deep in that sex scene. I was like, huh, Megan Good didn't iron Tyrese's draws. Mm, he fucked up. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, man, <laughs> fuck it up right there, dog. Yo, it, yo, here's the kicker. Before she even earned the draws, we get to the next time where he's staring out the window and she's on his chest. That's when you know the sex was probably good. Right there. That that already yep. signifies it right there. It's like, oh, he's but, sound asleep. But you know he had that look he had that look on his face like like I broke out of prison and I managed to smash. <laughs> within uh so that, how many days of like, this movie? Like, <laughs> and I managed to smash within at least two like two days, three days max. Today was a good day. Dude, even the son is all noticing her mom got a pep in her step because she's acting on towards him and stuff on certain things and stuff. And I'm like, hey, hey look, real talk. Well, the first, real talk. well actually, no, the first I'm day, say it. I'm the first say it. day, hold on, D, the first day giveaway was like, where's Sam? Oh, he's sleeping. No, he's not. He's not in the barn. He's sleeping in my room. Like he's up, <clears throat> like he's up there already. Wow. Like that's Mom's amazing. gonna get her some. Like, mom, like that's amazing, mom. And he said, well, like, well, like, well, let me go see him. Uh, no, you should let him sleep for a couple hours. He's really, really tired. He needs to sleep more. What did you do to him? 
I do believe that is like son. I do believe your mother did what is called uh, putting it on him. Yeah, yeah, she definitely did. She definitely put it on him. Actually, you know what? It, you know what the first indication really was actually was, hey mom, yeah, um, so there was a lot of loud stuff going on upstairs last night. What are you talking about? <laughs> Four hours earlier. Ah, yeah, in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> You motherfucker! Yo, she like she yells out everything during sex. Oh my god, man! It, it's uh, I mean, but yeah, she she she. It's like it's a lot of instruction, but she, it's like she does a lot of instruction, but you don't mind it because she's like twisting her body. Like, put it right there. Oh, Jesus, I feel like we're just I'm just like making fun of this all juggle on so much anyway. Oh man! So somewhere John is like shaking his fist, like I will get the three black geeks whenever I find them, wherever they are. I, you know I will what? get the twa, the, the the twa black geeks. You know what? <laughs> it's a twa and, if, black and you know, uh, hold on. You know something? Came at us with a freaking roundhouse kick. I, I would, I would take one for the team. It's like go JDF, get him. <laughs> J- JDF, I choose you. Win it, win. Yo, yo, that's our fucking smoke bomb right there. Look, JDF, run. That, that's Ninja Vanish. Oh, God. He looks around really concerned, like he's about to fight. God, he got you out. Of- <laughs> Here's me. Damn, he really does got you shook. Yo, he's in his <laughs> fucking fight stance. Damn, I'm bad now. Yo, he's in his fight stance from Blood Sport and shit. It's like, oh, shit, it's really that serious. <laughs> <laughs> hey real talk man cause I'm an equal opportunity shit like fucking shit starter and stuff if we ever go to the convention those two are there I will personally be like hey JDF I didn't want to tell you this but um Jean-Claude said go fuck yourself <laughs> just saying I, I mean I didn't want hey, to Jean- tell you this just- like, hey Jean-Claude uh, JDF over there talking shit man he said your mother ain't shit Hey, yo, 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 John, I, you didn't hear from me, my nigga, but JDF said you punched. That's like a bitch. <laughs> hey, yo, no, yo, you didn't hear me, you didn't hear me, but JDF said your roundhouse kiss, your roundhouse kicks, they, um, they land like a soft ass pussy. So I don't know what that means exactly. So you, you know, whatever, bro. Hey, yo, actually, no, easy way of saying it. Hey yo, JDF said you can do those splits because you ain't got no balls. Hey yo, uh, look, if, if I was you, cuz <laughs> you won't know me like that. If I was you, cuz I wouldn't take. It. Meanwhile, I come over there and be like, "Hey John, I'm just saying, hand him a shiv. I'm just saying, just do what you gotta do, and then go from there." All of a sudden, look, all of a sudden, us doing that back and forth, security, like, oh wow, what the hell we do? What do we do? <laughs> what did she do? Nah, they gonna call security on us. Does that happen? We're gonna be randomly walking the floor, and all of a sudden, we just see a crowd of people in a circle. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Oh shit, they're in the fight. Right, <laughs> like crowd of people. Crowd of people look like a street. Look like the beginning of Street Fighter. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's like at the end of Only the Strong. I saw the wind. I saw the wind. Banana wind. I'm like, oh shit. I didn't know Jean Claude knows. I didn't know Jean Claude knows Capoeira is crazy. <laughs> Here's me. JDF don't know how to block, nigga. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> JDF can't block. He's fucking Yo, damn Jean Claude, Eddie Gorder in your ass. Just block, nigga. Block, man, block. He's getting all these free hits. What is going on here? All of a sudden, I just saw JDF get juggled in the air. It was nuts. This whole day don't make no sense, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ten hit comboed his ass. God damn, block. God damn. Man, look, you, here's somebody in the, in the convention. I just can't hear and see Stan Lee, man. But fuck all that, man. Look at this shit. <laughs> Stan Lee's up there fight. saying, Excelsior, believers. No, no. Actually, no. Stan Lee, kick him in the nuts. <laughs> I got $100 <laughs> on JDF. <laughs> I got my money on the black one. There's no black guy in this. Well, I got my money. darkest one. <laughs> the hell, Stan? Oh Lord! All right. So, um, so the daughter comes back with uh, said henchman, and that's you know kind of like calls makes uh, gives pause to Clyde and such, to where she uh back up to the room and uh, her and Sam have a heart to heart talk about uh, what to do and such. And uh, 
I'm trying to remember uh, what what gives her what makes her uh, snap off at him. Uh, if I correctly, I do believe it's hey. Um, you are no, actually no nothing. Nothing made her snap off on her. Oh, she didn't snap off. Van Dam showed up. Mister, I was supposed to be asleep for a couple more hours. Yeah. Shows up and says, go inside. He just tells them straight up, go inside. They go inside the house. Hey, look, man. I'm just going to tell you one time. You come near, you come near Clyde or the kids again, I'll kill you. Damn. <laughs> Belgian waffles. <laughs> Belgium waffles. <laughs> oh my god. I, look, man. Sick. Hold on, what you I said I'm sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> Crepes. <laughs> Crepes. So, you know, of course they have their back and forth. They have the they have the uh, what was it? Um God. They have the rock and Vin Diesel moment from Fast Five. So, Sam, I'll see you soon. <laughs> I look forward to it. Me too. Oh, man, was this like early Rock no, Vin Diesel beef? beef? No, yeah, this was yeah, this was early Rock Vin Diesel. When the, when the two guys get right up in each other's shit and just say, instead of, instead of them saying, I'm not going to fight you now, but I'll see you later. Wait, oh, yeah. Fuck but, oh, yeah. Not today. Wait, not today, but later. Put some lotion on the later. skin. Sayonara. <laughs> All right. See you later. <laughs> lotion on the skin. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. How'd you like how he tried to throw out that French to Van Damme where he walked up and he's like, au revoir. Because <laughs> I'm a douche. That's why he does that. <laughs> and you know Von Van Damme was like, I can get him right now. I can get him right now. He's talking big shit. I can get him right now. Oh, man. Yo, Let me yo. make but my accent. My accent is perfect. Way back, there was another line. Shitty delivered line. Uh, this is back from the uh, like from the tractors that were used. My man Van Damme pulls out a two by four and breaks that shit over a dude's collarbone, knocks him out, and says, three strikes, you're out." I got a question, Van Damme. Who? I know it wasn't you, and I'm not even getting mad at you, but who said, "Hey"? Put these in here for Van Damme. That's what I want to know. Who thought that dude, and I'm not saying that he struggles with it, but his accent makes it sound like he struggles with the the English language. Who thought it would be a good idea to hear that? Because What, because it works for um, Schwarzenegger? Is that why? Because it doesn't make any sense why you do that to to Van Damme. I don't don't get it, man. That's terrible. So our boy gets this... uh thing from Lonnie basically telling him, hey, I know you're you're an escaped convict, so I can either A, expose you, or B, you get the fuck out of town. Just do us a favor, man. Everything was going fine until you showed up. <laughs> Almost you know got what, I, I, had, Ugh. I had this girl I had this girl I was thirsting on. She was gonna give it to me. She was. Yes she was. She was definitely gonna give it to me before you showed up you you, you, you ass, your ass face. She was going to give it to me. And we was going to be married. We was going to have friends and all. Look, the point is, just leave. <laughs> He's like, I'm doing you a favor. So, basically, it ends up becoming a bit trap because when he leaves, state troopers are chasing after him. Yeah, like one of them was in a diner. Yeah, he, one of them. Of course, he, of course, he left behind, uh, what was it? He left behind the tape. And some and, money. A good chunk of yeah. money, actually. He took, he took like two stacks for himself. Like I just decided to dip, but then at the same time, even even though the movie never makes an apparent, like you see him leave, and he goes to like he goes back to his site, and of course he already looks off to his left, looks off to his right. He already notices that cops were pretty much on to him, and so we get unnecessary slow motion jump to the right. I know, right? (laughs) Yo, (laughs) the framing of that is so terrible too. (laughs) <laughs> so terrible yo, yo here's the thing about this whole chase sequence right so one of the cops is on the fucking dirt it bike it looked like dude it looked like GTA 5 yeah like sort of GTA 5 when you when you hop on a bike and just go it looked terrible so so he takes off 
so when he takes off, right, and he's out running. I mean, he's out man, like trying to outmaneuver and outrun these cops, aka, hey, hey, Stallone, I saw what you did in First Blood. I'm gonna do it better. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Oh my god! Yo, who, uh, real talk. Whoever thought it was a good idea to put those dirt bike tires on that motorcycle, that was foresight. That was straight up foresight. How did you do that? Hey, look, <laughs> if look. I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, those were the same. Those were the same tires uh, that were on that bike from a long ass time ago. Yeah. Man, man, somebody said that, that was foresight, right hey, there. At least that day. was foresight and stuff. Cause yeah, but it definitely was foresight because. He went on the dirt road. He was avoiding cops. My man slid off in a ditch and tried to throw him off. Went off in another direction and managed to get away for for a minute. And we see we get this hella wide angle shot of him pulling up to this intersection. And he just says all he just one word, just Clyde, turn around and drive back to her place. Now, you now of course he didn't say it and then and. To give this movie credit, he didn't. Uh, he didn't drop it. He didn't say, "You know what? I've got nowhere to run." You give it up. You think it would have been an opportune time for him to say, "I have nowhere to run." Sacre bleu, <laughs> something like that. You know, because something like that. the thing is, he didn't have to say because you could see it in his face. He really had nowhere to go. Yeah. Oh, what would it do? Be a fugitive? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, think about it. Think about it. His partner, you know, his partner's dead. You know, he was forced to leave in, you know, in a, I would say, a situation that he was already happy with. I mean, come on, the man already got some from Clyde, so might as well say the man was there now. <laughs> no, yeah, the second he dropped it off in her drawers, yeah, he was living there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he done moved in, like, Isn't that he done moved in his camps, like, moved in his campsite and all that shit, you know, like, pretty much, a, she put him to stay at her place, so you would think all this would have been going good, and yeah. granted, Granted, yes, when he did leave, you know, he tried to talk to her, but of course she just got really pissed off about it. Like, dude, you're an escaped convict and you've been in my house and I slept with you. <laughs> but of course, Man, like, no, no, no. Here's the, look, Van Dan looked both ways. So that's a bad thing. How? <laughs> <laughs> How would you? But of course, but of course, all of this, you know, all this gets turned on its side because um, when she just decides to lock up. After listening to the tape, she decides to lock, like, lock up her house and just be, oh, I'm not scared. I'm just being cautious. Nah, even with you playing your little board game, uh, my man, like Mr. Diplomatic Immunity, her goons here, decided to bum rush the house and force you to sign over your property. Now, what she could have done, had Van Dam not been there and she'd have been smart enough, if she was smart enough, what she could have done, she could have did what Easy e did. See what Easy did when he was forced to sign the contract to uh, like to let Dre out of his contract and all that shit. Uh, he didn't sign his name. He signed someone else's name. And that's what she should have did. Yo, I like how it always comes down to hip hop with us. <laughs> I mean, it's it's unf- I mean, look, it's true, but Girl, at the same time, Girl, that shit was at, at the same time, D, that shit was smart as hell. That was one of the smartest things you could do when you know that you were gonna force to do something under duress, bruh. Like I'm full of shit. You damn right. I'm not signing my name. I'm I'm gonna sign a name, but it ain't mine. Basically, I mean. So yeah. that's when we finally get to our um, finale and stuff. The final fight. Um, friend zone. Bill gets killed because of course. <laughs> No, no, no. He look. He was expendable the second he he was expendable the second he tried to kiss her and she turned her head away. That's when we was like, oh, that nigga dead. He ain't living. He ain't living today. He ain't oh, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. There was uh, that was the other thing that I do. See, Lonnie comes in and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna try to talk to Clyde one more time. Let me let me try this. Let me just see if she's one well, if she's willing to hear me out. Like, just gonna talk to her. Hey, Clyde, Clyde, uh, why are you just sitting in your kitchen, just sitting there looking like, with a look of fear and terror in your eyes? Like, what's like what's going on?" Of course, she's getting the signal to not say anything or do anything, but it's too late. Lottie! Mildly acceptable gun butt. <laughs> it's acceptable. It's acceptable. You know, it's better than, you know, taking one flush, you know, two of them flush and not falling. I Thank mean, you, waist deep. 
I mean, he get oh god, he gets knocked out off a of, of a one gun. But okay, you know what? You get credit. You knocked him out, knocked him down. Cool. That's 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 all cool in the game. I'm straight with that. But it was just something about it. It's the fact that you set yourself up for the gun butt. You hit yeah. behind. You hit behind the side. No, see what makes gun butts awesome is when that shit comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it's the thud that makes it satisfying. Right. And it's the thud, it's the it's the double thud. Getting hit by it and then falling from it. That's what makes it so satisfying. But the icing on the no, but the icing on the cake of gun butts, when you have them at gunpoint, you know you can pull the trigger and be done with it. No, you turn that gun to the side and gun butt them. <laughs> that means it's that the means option. no. No, that yeah, you go for the option select of gun budding instead of shooting them. That means I have plans for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But hey, peep fucking Kieran Culkin taking a page from his older brother and fucking setting up a mini home alone <laughs> crap with the fucking horse look, kicking look, the dude in the chest. Talk, real talk. You know, that's in his, that was in his contract somewhere. Can I have home? Can I have traps like my brother? Can I do can I have one? one out of, can I, I do one? one. Hey, at least if I can a- do one, I want to do the paint can one. We can't do that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, first off, how do you end up for the fucking henchmen who clearly aren't fucking dumbass henchmen? It's like, yeah, I don't think that paint that paint can shit's gonna work. <laughs> this is why we had. A, that's why they had adults on the on the film set, Chris. <laughs> like, no, Karen, Karen, look at me. You can't do that. Come on. <laughs> now here's the kicker, man. So the henchmen go there, including Mister Diplomatic Immunity himself. Because they basically force her at gunpoint to sign over and stuff. To the point to really show the henchman means business. He slams her head into the fucking damn, onto the table after she signs. I was like, ah, to really emphasize who you really are. Okay, cool. That was a, he- that was a hell of a face slam, too. Like, I was thinking to myself, do look, if she don't get up. If she don't get up, man. <laughs> that is the most realistic thing that has happened in this movie. If she doesn't oh, get yeah. up. Now, here's the thing. Now, here's the thing. She gets, she gets face slammed. Pulls her head back up. Not a mark is on her. Oh, Look, hey, how about, a, uh, how about Jean-Claude busting, how about Jean-Claude busting open a window and not even getting cut as he drags the dude out the said window? Well, he grabbed straight from the middle. There was no glass there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. It looked like he just straight up just grabbed him after he broke it. I was like, wow, really? No blood? Yeah, he just, like, first of all, first of all, man tried to set the house on fire. He pulls homeboy out, who got caught in the flames himself, and pulled the curtains out saving the house it's like my drapes from sears no <laughs> my drapes from sears, my drapes from sears. <laughs> i like how he gets set on like, he gets set on fire tossed to the side and never see this guy again no no, no. and set he, on fire and punched in the face yeah punched in the face he's out all right that's one goon down and let me go ahead and climb let, let me go ahead and make my way up the like up the roof you know he goes through one room and he decides to hide in the attic so uh so <laughs> yeah, so you would think it was a Home Alone trap, but no. My man ran up the stairs, thinking he was gonna catch him in the attic. Goes to the window, finds the window open. Dude, the fake out of fake outs. Son, you know, son. <laughs> you know the only thing missing was him. You know the only thing missing. The only thing missing would have been Van Dam jumping up in front of Homeboy and then trying to freaking juke him out by running to the left and going to the right fucking post style from Kung Fu Panda. No, nigga, I'm sorry. That, that, that fucking juke from was defeated because that shit had me in fucking tears. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I mean, that was, you know, that, that, but of course that would have been just silly. Instead, my man did like the huddled run because he knew he was going for glass and <laughs> Like shut <laughs> Yo, first off, our boy fucking goes Davy Crockett on fucking damn Sam with using the fucking shotgun as a damn bat and shit. I was like, God damn, really? Well, Clyde, he did only have about three bullets in that gun. <laughs> it was a double yeah, barrel shotgun. I was about to say, so he only like, had like four bullets in that yeah. motherfucker. I'm just laughing, though. It was like, he just swings at his stuff. He's fucking gun button Sam's nuts. And then he fucking does the Dale Gribble <laughs> pocket sand technique on his ass. I was just about to say, you beat me pocket sand. <laughs> we had pocket sand. We had gun butts to the nuts. I'm like, okay. Again, again, acceptable. Very acceptable. He stops being pulled, and I like him. <laughs> yeah. It, like, it just stopped him dead in his tracks. Like, he did it to him not once, but twice. <laughs> It turns into a fucking mud fight at one point. It's like, ah, water is flying. Ah, mud. Ah. 
Then we get, <laughs> and then of course we get uh, out of nowhere after being my man took a page straight out of Carl from Walking Dead. Here comes running over, and he's like Sam. And instead of th- and I'm thinking instead of like throwing something at the guy, no, you're you're pretty much leg humping this guy. Like get off of him, let him go. Yes, and, we did. <laughs> and instead, he gets the mush face. He gets pushed into the like into the fence. Van Dam, of course, like you like you struck a child. Sucker. <laughs> Like you struck by, a child. Power, by, by the power of the by the power of, of a father figure, I shall take you down. Au revoir, villain. <laughs> and you know what? And he did. Uh, God, here we go again with more fucking warriors of virtue slow motion here. Man, um, you don't you know some of these movie when you get the look. My man, first of all, flipped, going on. like he flipped him over, flipped him over the uh, like the car. And he falls straight through the window. We're thinking, all right, this guy's knocked out. He's like, he's good to go. But of course, it's the movie. He's a sub boss. We forgot. Van Damme, you're fighting <laughs> Shiva here. No, you're no, fighting no, Sh- no. Considering that he has a fucking bow staff, he's fighting bootleg Billy Kane. So, you know. <laughs> you know what? You ain't, you ain't shit for that, Chris, because that is actually accurate. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's accurate. Like, you're fighting Billy Kane here. You think after he fell through the window, he's like, uh, I'm knocked out. Like, like I'm out of commission for the rest of this movie. No, that shit was in slow motion. And you had that look like, okay, give me about a good five seconds and I'll be able to move. So he slowly like lurches his way out of the car, cocks a shotgun. Apparently there was still one magic bullet left and shoots that he fires it at Sam. Again, you miss Sam how? You had him at point blank range. But with a shotgun. But, how the hell did you <laughs> not hit him? But apparently he shoots said henchman. He shoots said loot sub boss, and he has fucking cards flying out of him because dramatic effect. Yes, the, the cards though. Yeah, the I was card, saying them. Like you, no, I'm sorry. The, like he shoots him. He, I believe he shot him in the cards. Either way, the bicycle pack is gone. That's all you need to right. know. <laughs> Yo, I look with that when he got shot with it. Here's Angie, huh? So that's how it looks if Gambit gets killed. <laughs> no, no, Angie ain't shit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking accurate. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh my god, this was she was on that one. Gambit is that's how it look. Gambit is crying and fucking crying in Bayou, essentially. So yeah. <laughs> crying in Cajun. Crying in Cajun. Now, now hold on now, because we got we got like another three and a half minutes left in this movie. Um he comes back in with the gun. Yes, the same gun that was tossed at him by Karen Culkin, who who, who got it from his dad. He walks in at gun, like uh, sorry, he walks in and points the gun at Mister Diplomatic Immunity, like like stay away from me, I will kill her, stay away from me, let her go. I have diplomatic immunity. And stay away. It's just but been course, revoked. <laughs> but of, but of course we don't get none of that. Instead, we get the cops. The cops that somehow managed to trail. Some cops that somehow managed to trail Van Dam back. And which, if you wonder how the hell that happened, first of all, that state trooper that that first talked with Van Dam managed to write down the license plate number of that bike, and it just happened to be at that farmhouse. So I mean, I mean I'm mad, but at the same time, I was like, okay, look here. <laughs> so I look, bro. So. so they were really after Sam, and, and I like how even the cops were like, look, we were after Sam, but seeing you here hold a woman against her will, like, I'm like, bro, come on, man, we're booking you. You caught. Book them down. You can do this in the, you might, you might can do this in the state of Texas, but we're in nowhere USA, and you can't do that here. <laughs> so, he man, so my man picks, uh, like, he picks Lonnie back up, like, you saved all the lives of everyone in this valley. That should account for something. So he, so he hand, so hold on, he handcuffs him. He handcuffs him out, like walks him out the, like walks him out the door. Like I gotta go. Like knowing that running away was never the right thing for me to do, I'm just gonna go back to prison. But you, my dad. (laughs) I do feel for Carl. I do feel for for this one though. I really do, because that dude meant the world to him, man. Hey, it's like man, somebody it's like you know. your life and does splits and roundhouse kicks. I mean, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity. 
Actually, I saw no splits, so that's kind of um, false advertising. But the point is, so now, now hold on, now, now, did you buy the movie magic bullshit of "I'm gonna go away for a while"? Yes, yeah, he says this to Clyde, and then, of course, Clyde's response is, "No matter, no matter how long it will be, we'll be here waiting for you." So my thing is this: um, Hey, dog, did you tell the police about that tape your boy? Uh, did where that can kind of help Shut you out up. and get a lesser prison sentence. Shut up. Shut uh, up. So, you know, even if that was the case, even if that was the case, you gotta. I still wonder. Hey, Van Dam, I hope you didn't tape over that tape when you uh, when you gave your goodbye message to Clyde. I really hope you flipped the tape over and recorded that message. Like there, here's Van Dam. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, so make it worse. Talk. Burned it. So real is a real talk. So we finally get the final line from Van Dam, where diplomatic community himself is like, "You bastard! Do you know what I am?" And tries actually, to no, it was him. no way. CJ, hold on, there was two lines. The second line after he kills, uh, like after he kills Mister House of Cards here, he shoots him and <laughs> says, "He shoots him and says, Au revoir, fucker." <laughs> I got to be honest with you. That was yeah, it was all right. <laughs> and, <laughs> it was all right. And of course, then of course there was, "Do you know who I am?" Uh, says I can't punch you, even though you are you are pretty close to me. I could headbutt you. Nah, not good enough. I'm just gonna hit you with the door. Nice yeah. you are. <laughs> you know when he was when he said that, here's me. <laughs> but diplomatic community, it's just been revoked. Like not one of these lines was really good. <laughs> none of no, none of them are. And that's the that's that's amazing to me. Whoever who set up Van Dam like that is my question, man. Who thought? Nah, I just say this shit. It'd be hot. <laughs> that's so, what I'm so this is nowhere to run. So uh, can I point out something here? This is a movie that it made opened. no money. It's this made no no no. Uh, made yeah, no. It made no, money. No, no. no it made overseas. his money. Yeah, it definitely made his money overseas. Again, got, again, you got the star power of Van Dam overseas. This movie again, fifteen million dollar budget. Overall, made fifty two million dollars at the box office. It's twenty now, twenty two million in America. Yeah, it made twenty two, so it still made its money back. It made its money back and then some, but it went on and made thirty million overseas. Now, now get this. Now, CJ, because I know you got to know, what was this movie going up against? Second week, Aladdin, a few good men, a live big movie, and and, and body of evidence. Okay, yeah, yeah, it got crushed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did I also forget the bodyguard and for you know, Home Alone Two was also coming out around that same time too. So yeah, that movie got quite buried. Like, I mean, let's you were, put, like, you were, put, you were like, not like, fucking with a few good men too. Aladdin, no, you was not. <laughs> let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. For this movie. I will say, you know, for as messy, you know, as messy of a, you know, as messy of a script that this movie was handled, because it, it, it's a mess. Um, I would say if if Van Damme was doing directed VHS movies back in the 90s, this would have been the first. Oh, my God. Yes, it would have. Yes, it I got all. I think out of all of his movies that he did, even in the 90s during his peak years, because this was this was one of his peak years. This had yes, been one. This had to been the one that would have gotten like slapped on the straight to VHS. Like there was no way that they could have put this out in theaters. But this was this was the first of the three picture deal from Columbia. So I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Like if this was Artisan, yeah. If this was Artisan, then yeah, this shit would have been straight to VHS or DVD. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, yep, this, yep. this whole movie was just all sorts of just ridiculous man this is one of those movies that i literally will have on as background noise on tbs or something like that now you gotta think the movie's writers and d i'm sure you can you know being a writer yourself uh i'm sure you can agree with this when when man uh joe said um when he said look this script was taken and destroyed years later by van damme as nowhere to run it's like this movie lost the sensitivity. It lost everything. I really don't like to remember that movie. Wow, is it is is you know what? I get why. I think it probably was hell for him to make, and at the same time, it just sucked. Like it really wasn't good, and you could probably tell just by the even by you know what you can even tell by the attitude on Van Damme's face during the movie. You know what I mean? 
just looked annoyed. That nobody really liked it. Like, nobody liked it. You know what I mean? It just seems like that. That's just, and I, I, you can tell, man. It just sucks. Sad writer, <laughs> writer went on to do movies such as Daylight, Dante's Peak, Dark Hour, Taken TV series, Tracers, Extant. Yeah. Boy, he did nothing. After <laughs> this. He just made look, look. You know what? You know it's kind of funny. I get, I don't get jealous. I get more of just sad that, and we seen. Well, I forgot who it was. We see like different uh, things. You remember? Actually, yeah, Eric will know this. You remember on um, on Family Guy where Brian was talking to um that dude? He's like, yeah, he, yeah, like yeah, that guy got a um got a deal. He he his script. The name of his person was Joe Every. Yeah, Joe Every. <laughs> How good for him? <laughs> like it, it makes you say, it makes you really think. Like, how do some of these, how do these scripts make it, man? And that one made it. And you know, Jean Claude fought two for nail to try to make that better. And he probably through the whole time was like, "Fuck this film, my nigga. I can't take this." You can tell he had that look. I don't blame him. But yeah, so we're done with that, man. We're finally we're done with nowhere to run. And that's great. Now we go to something more sensible. Terrifying ninjas. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, the cultural appropriation before cultural appropriation was given its title. Cause oh yeah, kids. given its title. Because white people was doing it. Because white people was doing that into, since the second they saw somebody else dance. Will you do? Will you <laughs> learn how to do that? Show me how to do it. <laughs> Kid power. Power to kids. Power. Dude, they, like, that was a lot of those movies. We had a bunch of those movies as kids, man. It, it, whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's it. Nowhere to run. Enjoy the illustrious Van Damage that we gave you. Because the next Van Damage movie we'll give you will be something that not even, none of us will probably even, look, more than likely the next Van Damage movie you get will be a straight to DVD movie. And you better look at the movie. I swear. <laughs> Because I cannot do another straight to DVD movie, and I get a, like a couple of people. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nobody even listens to it. So <laughs> that's what I mean. We're gonna figure was, it out. If I'm not mistaken, isn't this like the one of the last few theatrical Van Damme movies covered? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, it we, is. I mean, we haven't was, touched Universal Soldier: The Return. Haven't touched that. Did the original you know one? What? We didn't do the return. You know, now you know. Now you know the reason why we haven't touched that because, and I'm looking at my best friend because he said, uh, "No, I don't want to do it." Hey, Eris, that might happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been look. I've been trying to avoid this movie because I really don't care for it. Like I don't see. I was on the same mindset of Van. He said it himself. He doesn't do sequels. He really doesn't, but we can all clearly see that he broke that rule in his book a long time ago by doing not one, but at least three Universal Soldier movies. And on top of that, we're on the second blood. We're on a third um, kickboxer movie. Yeah, point. we're on a third kickboxer movie, and let's just be and let's really be real here. Uh, blood sports kind of done ever since ever since people uh, try to was it people try to dig up facts on on um what's his name on Frank Duke's actual career. And people think yeah, that there was there was there was like a lot of bullshit behind that movie, and the whole Kumite in it in general. Now the Kumite don't even have the same meaning that it used to anymore. <laughs> still, I mean, still a classic '80s action movie to watch, but yes, it is. Yeah, but you know, when you really get down to like the lore, yeah, it just sours it. Yeah, yeah. So more than like, so like I said, in the next episode, guys, we're gonna have gentrified ninjas. One name. Oh God. Rocky, other one named Colt. Uh, Colt. God, he's the forgettable one too. And the other one named Tum Tum, because because their their Japanese grandfather. Oh, be, uh, one of these and, kids but, managed to survive all the way to the third movie, and he was older. Meanwhile, the other two, I gave a fuck about them. Amazing how that uh, works, huh? Okay. Also, this is what happens when not only do we have cultural appropriation, but we have who cash grab, cat. For, I'm sorry, first movie cash grab where where you took not one but two movies and tried to bank off of them. This movie tries to get us to say, matter of fact, just flat out steal shit from both Home Alone and Ninja Turtles. 
man. This and this is what I'm talking about. White people, y'all can't touch everything. Y'all not allowed to touch everything. But what if we make a white panther? That that would be racist, but stupid. Yeah, you can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know what white panther is? Fucking Moon Knight. So shut the fuck up. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh God. Come on, you a white panther. Don't y'all see y'all seen Catman on motherfucking fairly odd parents? Y'all have y'all black <laughs> man already. And it, hold on. And it was voiced by Adam West. I don't understand white people, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chris. I don't understand these colonizers. Colonizers. <laughs> colonizers. Colonizer. Hey, 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 hey. That is the app name for the henchmen and bad guys in Nowhere to Run. Colonizers. If you want to take over the Ah. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. sir. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But anyway, that's it, y'all. We see y'all next week. For diplomatic community. <laughs> <laughs>